All you do is obfuscate. We know what black people are, bro. We know we can look at people. That's and not true, bro. Look at black. a picture of Obama when he visits Africa. It's black. Barack it's it, Obama. dude. You can clearly there's, see. There's different white people. Yeah. There's different. Notice how slippery he is between how he defines positions. His point earlier was that black people are black, brown people are brown, white people are white. Looking at like difference between black and brown people is really dumb. But now when we're talking about Africa, all of a sudden that place where everybody's just black, well now it's the most ethnically diverse nation on earth. How yeah, the fuck do we go for money there? And then secondly, and then secondly, earlier he's talking about like. Really diverse places, you know, cause crime. The more diversity, the more crime. But what do you hear white nationalists always say over and over again? Whenever I'm asking you questions, Nick, I'm just asking you to clarify your positions. I'm not accusing you of anything. Even the phone call, I'm just saying, did you say this? Did you do this? Do you believe this? That's all I'm asking. Right, you just misrepresented if it makes you, the if it makes you uncomfortable, you just if it, on see how you won't let me finish talking is because it's making you uncomfortable. Earlier, Nick is accusing me of obfuscating. I'm not obfuscating. I'm just asking you for clarification. You're the one that has to obfuscate every time you start to dance around an uncomfortable topic, like trying to say that black people are intrinsically, biologically different than white people on a call with four other black people. I'm just trying to make sure that you're being honest with what you believe. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm not dancing okay? around that. I said that. Nick, do you think that white people should control America? How are we different? How are we different? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. What's up? This is my uh, new friend Nick Fuentes. He's streaming. Hey. I don't know if streaming right hey. now. Oh my um, God! Know, oh no! Hey, this stream is These guys are gonna get wild. steamrolled. <laughs> Wait, Holy Jesus! I don't know him. I've just seen him on Destiny stream a few times, and so. <laughs> yeah, oh right man! That, yeah, I Brody. Uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but Sneeko said you're like a borderline Nazi. Borderline? Uh -oh. That's what people say. That's what people not. say. He's not actually. Yo, yo, low right. key, low key, low key. I'm not gonna lie. He's one of the funniest political commentators. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that. He, you know, he made me, yo, he made me laugh properly during a few streams. So I'm gonna give him credit. Like he's got, he doesn't take himself too serious. This is my first time hearing about you, man. But like, you know, I like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to hear what you got to say, bro. Hey, I'm like, I'm really right. open minded. I appreciate that. Yeah, Judeon, yeah, don't worry. One day you're gonna end up in an article, Judeon, and they'll be like, he was on a podcast with Nick Fuentes. <laughs> You'll get canceled yeah, for this probably. in the future. I'm sorry. Gonna... <laughs> You'll get canceled for this in the future. It's my bad. You could give me, yo, article writers, BuzzFeed, and La Sanabi, give me the smoke for that, bro. It's my fault that I brought Nick on. I'm just figuring it out, man. I was in the, I, hey, I'm here for it, bro. Yeah, Nick, yeah, it's gonna be controversial. I'm Nick, sure. what do you think? Uh, we were talking about. I just asked Abu, uh, what do you think the biggest problem in the world is, and he said inflation. Nick, what do you think the biggest problem in the world is? Lack of Christianity. Uh, biggest problem in the world right now. It's gotta be is lack of God. Probably the media. Really? Okay, the media cool. and the US as a Christian nationalist. Oh it's man. Be number one. How do Inflation's a. How do we fix that? We gotta. Well, we gotta change the people that are running the media and, and change the people running the national security state. Inflation's a big problem, but but inflation's obviously it's a symptom of a problem. Inflation is a product of the Federal Reserve. I'm sure as you know, if you've looked into that. I and, did um, right, yeah, I, I saw you, Sneeko, actually watching a documentary about that. And and the Federal Reserve is part of the regime. You know, the regime is not just the government. The regime is it's like probably a thousand to ten thousand people that run all the institutions that control America. And America is the empire that runs the world. So it's not just like the, the president and the government, it's, it's big tech, it's the media, it's the Federal Reserve, it's the banks, it's Wall Street, it's the whole, it's the whole deal. You know, um, it was something about the banks. Uh, shit, I don't know, the, this might be a little controversial, but I'm gonna say it. I'll, I don't watch the debates or nothing, but I was watching the presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And I always heard people talk about the worldwide banking system. It was like this big thing. They're like the worldwide banking system, the worldwide banking system. That's how hey, you're going to join them. If he invites me, I will. Thing. Damn, I don't, I don't know how to get, I can't just it. jump into a well, random you know, call. I never really saw <laughs> the evidence to support it, but and you can look this up for yourself, guys. I was watching the debate live, chilling, sitting down. And during the debate, uh, Joe Biden was talking about something and then Donald Trump interrupted him. Like you guys remember how Donald Trump kept on interrupting him, right? And then Joe, Joe snapped. He got pissed. He was like, he said, he said, that's why you're going to lose. And Donald Trump was like, why, Joe? Why am I going to lose? Because I'm against you. The Democratic Party's against you. The media's against you. Then he said, the worldwide banking system. And then he said that, and he, like, put his head down. Oh, my God. And it was quiet for a good <laughs> Oh, like, man, what are we doing it was, here? It was, it was so weird because the whole time they were just yelling over each other, and it was just quiet. It was just quiet, nothing and then they just went to another topic. So me, I don't know what the worldwide banking system is, but I had like, when he said it and the way they got quiet, I was just like, what the fuck just happened? And then I saw no one talk about it, but yeah.
Bro, yeah, no, if you look into the IMF and the World Bank and their practices all over the world, that, that's a big part of how they're able to control world government. Uh, and the shadow banking system, too, that's, that's something uh, I've been looking into a lot lately. Um, if you look at, like, the former British colonies and, like, the Caribbean, they run the shadow banking system, which is the nexus between the intelligence agencies in the United States and organized crime around the world. That's how they're able to funnel money from the U.S. government to, like, organized crime, to the cartels, to all kinds of shady things, terrorism that goes on in the world. That, that's, that's a huge part of the problem globally is, is shadow banking. And who's behind it? Well, we talked about a Sneeko, a lot of Jews. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but it's true. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm so out of my depth. I don't even know any Jewish people, so this is a tough one for me. He knows Dan. Abba, you haven't done a deep dive into conspiracy theories? I saw my first Jewish person in the UK. That's the first time you met a Jew? Uh, a Jewish, like a Jewish person that like had like the black coats and everything. Like I was in oh. London and I seen I ran into one at the airport and I said shalom and he said shalom back. Mazel. It's a Shabbat shalom. <laughs> he said Shabbat shalom. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I'm out of my depth and I gotta ask you this, Nick. Because I don't know much about. Oh, don't you ask him. He's gonna have an answer. Since you've been doing all this online shit, how's that oh, worked man. out well for your dating life? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I don't really have a dating life. I, so okay. I'm a bit of I thought I was going to ask for conspiracy shit. I identify as sort of like an incel. No! Okay, okay, okay. Let's that. get it. This, this, this is where the content's at. Let's get some no! money. No! All right, all right, all right. So how is it that you're so well-versed in all this stuff? You're charismatic. You got some good jokes. No homo. But you ain't getting no bitches. Sneaker wants to know. Well, you see, I'm, I'm married to this life. Because unlike you guys, here's the thing. If I was going out there and I was, maybe not you guys necessarily, but if I was going out there and I was doing the usual thing, if I was like, hey, everybody, like low taxes and, you know, and <laughs> Trump is great and Biden sucks and this and that, you know, I would probably be like a mainstream person. But the thing is, I'm like totally ostracized from the system. I'm banned Go from- Go support ABBA. Banned. I don't know how to get I'm in. I can't just airline. beg. This it looks so bad. I'm hanging out. Listen, if he invites me, he'll invite me. How are you banned from an airline? Yeah, Who I, are you? Wait. What the fuck did you do to get banned from an airline? The shit he talks about. Yeah, I, I, well, I was put on the federal no-fly list for a year by the government. <laughs> and then I got off the no-fly list, and then I got banned from Delta and American Airlines. And so now I can only fly United. I can only fly United. I met, listen, I met, me and Abba are talking. Are you a terrorist? Okay. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. What the fuck are you doing? I can show. I, you know, I just tell the truth. I talk about what's going on. I get a lot of trouble. So I'm, I'm banned from all that. I'm banned from Bank of America. I'm banned from U.S. Bank. Why the fuck is a bank? <laughs> they send you a letter and they say, hey, we closed your personal checking account. You can't bank with us anymore. No. <laughs> no, you're so a walking super villain. I know. I, I think I'm a super hero, actually. <laughs> you don't know the truth. All right. No, no, so so you got you to tell us. So you're ostracized from so many things. Come on. There's got to be some... Some women out here are just like, man, I, I fucking hate the world banking system too. Like, yo, Nick, let's talk about this. There, there's got to be women hitting you up. Don't lie. There are. Nick. It's true, but they're all crazy. They're all few, <laughs> the people that the women that watch my show have just got to be insane. Hey, because... Nick. Nick, let me put you on a game. Crazy pussy hits different. I know they're gonna ruin. They're gonna ruin your clothes. They're gonna burn something. But crazy pussy, come on, Abba, tell them. Yeah, man, there, there's no there's no reason for you to to, to to be alone in this world. You you got this, bro. And and I think you make some good content, you know what I mean? You make some content that people can really enjoy and, and really connect with. So there's no reason that some of your female fans um, shouldn't be dateable and, and, and sensible in the head. Man. Yo, GD, I'm yeah. so confused right now. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to find one, one of these I'm still trying days. to figure out about this Bank of America situation. <laughs> like. yeah. yeah. That's okay. great. Bro, you, so, you, 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 go ahead. So what, go what, ahead, like, John. I'm, I'm, uh, my bad. What, what's your name, bro? Me? Yeah. I'm Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes. So, like, what? Like, what? What are your ideals? Like, you have to. <laughs> I guess you have to have some pretty out there ideals. Yeah. What are those ideals? So, Nick uh, Fuentes. Ostracized. What you, you got say. going on out there? Yeah. For I the mean, people I, in me that don't know. I, I suppose. I mean, my so 
I identify as a paleo conservative, which is, that's like the lamest thing I guess you could call it. I, really, I'm a reactionary. Basically, I believe that everything that has happened in the past 300 years is a mistake, is, is to summarize it nicely. I think that feminism is the worst thing that I'm ever sorry. happened in Western Shitty civilization. Me. Please, I'm, I'm against smiley that. Face. I'm Shut against uh, mass immigration. I'm against modernism, liberalism. I I'm Catholic. And that sort of forms a foundation of my view. I think we should have like a Catholic, Jesus, like theocracy or like a Catholic monarchy or something like that. That's that's sort of my disposition to summarize it. How do you feel about interracial marriages? I'm I'm against it. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. What about what about, what about you, Dijon? Do, do you believe in mixed love? Mixed love, man. Love is love, bro. I love my snow bunnies. I hey, love my really? Latino. Uh, Judea, love my Asian girls. I gotta ask, Nick, I'm how do you feel when you see a black guy just getting with the snow bunnies? Like, is that something that like rustles your jimmies? She's gonna that get you... BBC, Nick. Yo, your white with? girl's gonna get BBC. Well, the, the problem, the problem is, uh, all these white girls always end up getting their ass kicked. <laughs> Oh <laughs> my god. Behind. That's what typically happens. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh no. What? Are you, are you asking by who? Yeah, black boyfriend. My black yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what? So you try you trying to say oh, we out here beating these white women? Is that what you're trying to say? Nick went oh, way to a mask off. Happens. Oh no. Guys, you guys Nick, this is your friend? <laughs> <laughs> I just met him on stream. I just met him on stream. But Jadeon, Jadeon, one thing I'm gonna say, you're reading the Malcolm X book right now. You know who else was against interracial marriages? Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Yeah. So he's well, saying I'm the same thing on the other side. That's not the point that I'm worried about. The, the fact is that he's blaming all black guys for beating white girls. No, he's saying that he's saying they're very likely to. You know what I mean? They, they, might, they might just be like, yo, what the fuck is this chicken? You didn't season it properly. And they whoop their asses. That's what he's trying look, to say. He's look, not saying all of us do. He's saying a and, lot of us do. Dion, I don't agree with what he's saying. But at the same time, I think it's the equivalent of when black people say that white people shoot up schools. It's the same type of stereotype. So I like Nick's racism. I like that he could be honest and as racist as black people people can be racist. This it's is better. the first time I've ever heard someone say that black people beat white girlfriends. Like, I've never heard this before, ever. That's right, the traditional, right, that's, right, that's, right, that's what white people, that's why white people- His girl is black, his girl's not even white. What they do? Well, I guess black, white, that's, you know, it's something that happens. I covered a story about this on my show a couple weeks ago, but that's not the only thing. Here's the thing. I'm halfway kidding about that. The thing is, and I was halfway. explaining this to Sneeko, halfway. is, what? Halfway. Ha halfway, here you go. The thing is, is I value my identity. And I, mm -hmm. I also have a view of sexuality that I'm Catholic. So I think that people should get married before they have sex and they should have sex to have kids. And so mm -hmm. I wanna meet a wife and I wanna marry her and have kids. And I want my wife and I want my kids to reflect my identity. And that's something that's important to me. My heritage is important to me. My identity is important to me. Wait. What's your heritage? What's your identity? I'm uh, I'm half Italian. I'm a quarter Irish and I'm a quarter Mexican. So which quarter are you going to meet somebody who's like identically that, or just like a half Italian is good enough? Uh, no, not necessarily, but but preferably someone who's Italian, preferably someone who's just white and Catholic, <laughs> just white. Someone who's going to look like me. Close and, enough. And generally, I you know I don't think it needs to get too precise, but. Um, but obviously, if I married a black girl and I had like a black kid, it's like I don't. I'm not black, you know. So, and I would look at my son and not really be able to identify in that way. Okay. And oh, it's the fanatic I argument. I want to ask you a question. Are you? Are you? Do you identify more with your religious side or your racial side? Uh, probably. Well, I, I think um, the thing is about people's identities is that people's identities are complex. So it's not so much to say, oh, well, I'm more Catholic than I am white. I mean, I'm both. I'm Catholic and I'm and I'm white. But but to me, Catholicism, that's a foundation of my worldview. Okay, so, so if you met a black me. woman who was a Catholic or, a, you know, an Irish or an Italian woman who was like Buddhist, which one, if you had to pick between the two, which one would you marry? Mm. Well, I would marry neither. But if I had to marry one, that's a tricky question. I don't oh, know. come on. You just said your religion is more foundational. Come on, bro. Well, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. I mean, that's true. And and as a Catholic, I should say I should say the Catholic. But I want to have a kid with with green eyes like me. I want to have a kid with with my with my white face. You know, I don't want to have a kid. That's well, you're Mexican. You're a little. You have Mexican in you. Okay, but I have brown hair. I have white skin. You I know what I realize about white people? Bro, you know how many light skinned Mexican people I know? 
Oh, yeah, okay. Well, point being is, I I want to marry someone that, that looks like you. I don't That's know what it is about white people. But, but is, is it that you want someone that you made that looks like you, or is the ideal person you want to be with is white because she you're wants, not fully he, white? White people want to be with somebody that looks like their sister, low key. They always get together. Like if you look at most white couples, they kind of look like siblings. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, that's Look, that's crazy. an example of black people doing well, what white people do. When, when white people say all black people look the same, some black people say all white people look the same. Oh, shit, he texted me. Why the fuck would he text me? So this is my thing, right? You say that your religious side is, is foundational to you. You're, yeah. you're a soldier of Jesus. You, you, you're ready to bang for the cross, whatever. But then you telling me you going to choose somebody over the skin color over religion. Why does he I start to question your pride? He DMs me on like five different platforms. He'll be like on Twitter, oh, Discord, like my I phone. Said, Why? I, I wouldn't marry either. Either. Hold on. If forced to pick, it would be a difficult question because you're right. Um, like as a Catholic, I should say probably, oh, I would I would marry the Catholic black so woman. Just, so just say it. Come on, bro. Just just say it. Say you get with the black woman who shares your cultural and religious values. Bro, come on, get that black juice. Yeah, yeah, because at the end of the day, I just want you to raise children that are also soldiers of God. That's the most important thing in this. Oh, she's a God fearing black bro. No one loves God more than the black woman. My Fact. grandma loved God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mama loved God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a black queen in the future is gonna love God. Get you a black queen, bro. Oh, hey, here's the in the chat. Here's the thing. I, and I, I cut LBLM. a lot of black. I said this on my show. I, I like. I'm attracted to. Asian girls or black girls or things like that. But it's about my priority is trying to create a family. And the thing is, like, it's true that I have ideals and I have religion, but also I have an identity as, as a flesh and blood person. And this is the problem, in my opinion, with society. That we want to make everything about ideas and everything is about this, our constructed identities. And like when we talk about America, we say America is an idea and it's about, you know, what, what are your cultural beliefs? What's your culture? And all of that matters. But we also are at the same time human beings and we're real physical people in the world with like a definite, definite physical characteristics and definite genetic characteristics. And those things actually matter, too, as we're finding out. And so, you know, yeah, does does my religion matter to me? Yeah, more than anything. But but also. I, I am a man, and I am a white man, or I'm an Italian, Mexican, so you're Irish more white man. Than Catholic. You're more white than Catholic. Too. I'm what? You're more white than Catholic. Uh, well, well, I'm both. That's the thing. I'm bo both of those things right. are, are part. Can of you that. educate you, Dion? Uh, did Dion keep saying WBLM? He doesn't know that BLM is a scam. Can you tell him about that? Because I'm getting sick of him yelling WBLM. Yo, Dion, that's some bot shit that you gotta stop saying. BLM is oh, a fucking Nico, scam. I don't think, you, you see, you're so surface level, like. I didn't even agree with the protest, bro. Me, me personally, so why are you I feel like, BLM? bro, wait, 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 shut the, bro. I'm just saying that. But me personally, I okay, feel like the that? Black right. Lives Matter protests were the biggest wasted opportunity in Black American history. Because out of any time in American history, when you galvanize that many people, you can make the biggest change. So why are you and saying that? Like, oh, shut up. Let me finish. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I feel like. Uh, throughout those protests, I think the only bill that was ratified was uh, like a George Floyd bill that to this day, Joe Biden has yet to sign. But there's been an Asian Lives Matter bill after the fact that has been signed. And I feel like there's been an LGBTQ bill that has been signed after the fact. So I feel like that the George question. Floyd protest was the most wasted opportunity in black American history. Okay, so why we could have changed so much. So why are you saying WBLM? The way, like you say, oh man, you gotta keep the chat lit, man. You know, uh, you know how to gabbardize some people, man. Like, okay, bro. so you're just hyping it up. Yeah. Okay. I he's he's being provocative. Don't don't hype up my chat with that fucking scam. Do you know where all the money for BLM went? Well, my nigga, I'm not stupid, bro. No, I feel like you like you like if the sneaker. If you would, you think I'm just some like liberal, like ah, ah, like like yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. After Pokemon, like, I can't. I can't even lie to you. Yo, Nick, can you tell them about the bell curve? Can you tell them what you said to me? That that was the first time I ever heard a white dude say that. What do you think about the IQ thing? This is gonna fucking shake it up. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. You guys aren't gonna like this, but let, I just want to preface <laughs> this by saying this, okay? Am I gonna join? Uh, if Sneaker ever checks his phone, yeah. People, okay. I'm fr I'm a friend to all people. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know some crazy okay. shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, yeah. I love uh, black people. Okay. Oh, I love Hispanics. I love Asians. Oh, but you know where this is going. Whenever this starts uh, up like that, you know where it's going. You, you know where it's going, okay? 
And I told Sneeko this, we, we call this race realism, okay, which is to say that race is real. Like it's not, it's not fake, it's not skin deep, race is real. There are different races and there's meaningful differences. And one of the things is that on average, the races have different IQs. And so on average, Asians have the highest IQ and on average, blacks have the lowest IQ. And that's why I told Sneeko. And no, that's average, okay? It's not, I'm not saying Black people are dumb. I'm not saying that. Kinda. I'm saying that when you You're average it out. That. You're kind of saying that. Uh, I'm not. I'm saying on average. Well, I'm saying that. I think that actually it's a fact of nature, which is kind of sad in a way. I think human inequality is sort of tragic in some sense. Like you look on TikTok in this example, and TikTok is like the worst. It's like the worst window to human inequality there is. Because you could scroll through TikTok and see the most beautiful person ever, rich, and objectively beautiful and they're getting all this fame and all these likes and then you scroll up and then you see like a deformed person who's like they have roaches on their wall and they're like Ugh, you know and it's like that's actually kind of a tragic and sad thing and anyway so i think human inequality as a whole is unfortunate but here's why it matters when you look at all of the disparities in the united states as an example you look at income inequality between the races wealth inequality between the races and, and all these other inequalities People will say, well, if we're all starting from the same place but ending up in a different place, what happened in the middle? Racism, probably, or something. If, if whites and blacks and Asians and Hispanics are all the same and they all start out from the same, you know, starting point, but they all end up wildly unequal, well, something must happen along the way. Discrimination, racist policies, etc. Well, if people are not starting from the same place, then that would explain how a system which may even have affirmative action or maybe you know the opposite of racist would still be producing unequal results we have to understand this if we want to create policies where the country can be coherent and harmonious and where where everybody is treated fairly so that's my belief if we want to understand the world can't understand without understanding the reality mm. of race and what that means got it, so got do, it. You, do, do you think oh. there's a superior race no, I, I don't. I don't think they're okay. superior people. I think that okay, people cool. are unequal. Well, hold okay. on. But he thinks some people so intrinsically have higher IQ than other people, to be honest. That's so he would say friend. that, on average, all friend, else equal, way. yeah, a, a white person will be smarter than a black person. Yes. Yes. Hold on, wait. I need to hear Nick say it, because he believes okay. that, just so we're Destiny. all on the same page. Have you met Dion before? Dion, Destiny. Hi, what's, what's up, Destiny? I love stealing your content on stream. How's it going? We're just letting you know, on behalf of the black delegation, we've elected Destiny to speak on this matter. Yeah, thanks, you know. Um... <laughs> okay, well, before we... Don't do any liberal racism, though. Before, you got this. I'm a huge liberal racist, okay? But I'm racist towards all people, so we're good. Okay, just before we jump into this, okay? I just... Be, be clear about who you're talking to, what the goal of the conversation is, okay? Nick has a political movement, a political ideology. His goal is not to sell you truth or to sell you a critical thought process. His goal is to sell you his political ideology. So if he comes across some idea that's contrary to what he believes or some thought or fact that is contrary to his beliefs, he's not going to tell you that and he's not going to incorporate it into his world. He's only going to give you the pieces of information that he uses to sell his ideology. I think sometimes we're so hungry to talk to people that disagree with us. We think that everybody has valid things to say. Everybody's got valid points to consider, but you have to keep in mind what they're selling you at the end of the day if i was to have a conversation with nick about the value of like what do you think about like the soft sciences what do you think about like psychologists and political scientists nick in general me yeah uh, I think there's some validity to that, but I, I, I don't put a lot of stock in empiricism. Sure, so he doesn't honest. put a lot of stock in those things, okay? The bell curve was written by a psychologist and a political scientist. These aren't genetics oh. researchers. These aren't intelligence researchers. These aren't people that did huge dives into meta. Not it true. absolutely is true. Charles not Murray true. is a political scientist, and Richard Bernstein is a psychologist. Charles Murray. That's fine. I'm not, not talking about But I'm just saying Charles that Murray. the book, The Bell Curve, if that book was about any other topic, you would dismiss it so quickly because of the scientific disciplines that those authors come from. You wouldn't even consider for a second but because it absolutely is true and you know it but because no. it you just told me that you didn't put much stock in those disciplines but I you're willing I, to I cite didn't put stock in in empiricism i said i don't put as much stock in empiricism as you do because you believe that everything is attributable to empirical knowledge and everything should be derived from studies i don't believe that all truth is derived from studies i think we could derive truth from experience and i think we could derive truth from logic and we could recognize patterns i don't think that we necessarily need to go and and this is what you and Vosh and Hunter Avalon do is study, study, show me a source, show me a study. And I think that studies can aid understanding, but I don't think that's the end-all be-all of knowledge. That, that's what I'm saying. And, the, and you're wrong about 
if I thought that race and IQ was, was a wrong argument, I wouldn't push it. I wish it was wrong. I've had my entire life destroyed because I say these things. You think I'm saying these things because it's like doing me a big favor? I, I'm banned from airlines and banks. I'm under investigation by the FBI, subpoenaed by Congress, in part because I say these kinds of things. So, so no, I go where the truth leads me. I'm a critical person. If you were to present to me an answer for why, you know, when the Europeans colonized Africa in the late 19th century, they didn't have written language and they didn't have the wheel. And like why, why that is consistent with everybody evolving exactly the same way and everyone being exactly the same, you know, I would probably be an egalitarian like you. But no, it's not, it's, not, it's just the valid. idea is that like, if there's differences between large groups of people throughout all of human history, the default position is to not know. You're the one that's asserting the positive claim of, oh, well, it must be because of biology. But we don't know that. Nobody knows that. There are different like indicators that like maybe it's this maybe it's that but to pretend that we have one grand narrative that can explain the differences between all the groups in all of human history you're not going to find any academic discipline that's going to come together and agree on that these are all hotly contested topics that's all i'm saying and also when you say i notice that people like you sorry and i'll shut the fuck up people like you will always say things like oh like you just want to see study 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 but i'm a man of truth and experience and logic and i recognize patterns bro a pattern for a human is you have like two bad experiences with somebody and you write them off completely that's not going to get you towards truth with a capital t that's just going to tell us your subjective frame of reference right like you might eat like two you know rotten pieces of fish and tell everybody that fish is the worst food in the world that's no more truthful than, than viewing a study on something or it's even less truthful right I, I don't like this i don't like this hand waving of like all of the empirical data or all of the studies we can do to just say like oh well i have my own experience because you can go down so many stupid roads with that like obviously everybody's seen somebody do it nick who do you think is going to win win the race war blacks or whites <laughs> <laughs> well unfortunately depends on who the us. jews side with well, that's there's some truth in that, but but unfortunately for us, uh, you know, by 2100, the world is going to be full of Africans. I mean, by 2100, it's going to be 10 billion people, and five billion of them are going to be Black Africans. So I don't think, and frankly, I don't think I don't think any of us are going to win in that scenario because the biggest the biggest content is going to be Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's going to be like World War Z. They're just going to you know that scene in World War Z when the zombies are climbing on top of each other to get into Jerusalem. That's what it's going to be like in America and Europe with uh, this population explosion happening there. So there's going to be a bunch of African people acting like ants climbing up over each other. Yeah, trying to get into Western uh, countries. Yo, that's oh. who you fighting for, blacks or whites? Dude, I'm not gonna fight for a fucking race, dog. That's cringe. Uh, he's gonna be to the side, streaming it in the corner while there's a war. <laughs> bro, game. Destiny, we're gonna draft you in to the black side, bro. You can be with us. You as long as I get an N word pass, we're good. I can't I'll fight for <laughs> No, there's not even the idea even of race wars falling on those exact lines. I thought there was a really funny question earlier. I don't know if Jadian or Sneeko asked it. When you asked Nick, what kind of a woman are you looking for? Are you looking for like a 50% Italian, 25%? That was Abba. Right. How is oh, me, Abba. bro? Whatever you can't, you can't recognize who would ask. Two thirds. I had a two out of three chance. Let me I had a two out of three chance. Okay, you get, you did it. Okay, yeah. Abba asked a question. Yeah, like, what do you even look for? What does it even mean to be black in the United States, right? You've got like African Americans, people that immigrate from fucking Kenya or Nigeria. They don't consider themselves black in the same way that like descendants of slaves are black. Nick doesn't consider himself white the same way that like somebody that's ethnically. Nick doesn't consider himself white the same way that like somebody that's ethnically fucking Russian or German or Scandinavian seems to be white. Like these are like super subjective but concepts. You just obfuscate. You just all you do is obfuscate. We know what black people are, bro. We know we can look at people. That's and not true, bro. Look at black. a picture of Obama when he visits Africa. He's black. Barack it's it, Obama. Dude, you can clearly there's, see. There's different white people. Yeah. There's different Asian people. You can people, clearly see a difference. You, there are clear differences in this. It's not. You say that I'm obfuscating, but the reality is, is that it's complicated. And even you acknowledge that when you're like, "Well, I'm 50% Irish and I'm 25% Italian and I'm 25% Hispanic, but it's the mestizo." His do you think that me? Do you think that me? Okay, I have white skin. I have green eyes. I have curly brown hair. Do you think that if I walked into Little Village in Chicago, where they're all five five and brown skin and black hair? and said, hola, amigos, can I have some tacos? Do you think they would recognize me as one of their own and say, ah, oh, yes, a Mexican. Welcome to our, uh, welcome to the, the neighborhood. No, they'd be like, what's this Ringo doing here? I mean, it depends. To quote the great out philosopher uh, Sneeko, um, what, on that fucking intro video on your channel, I think you mentioned that, like, people when you were in, were you in Peru? I don't remember where you were, but people would walk up to you and speak English because they'd instantly assume you were American because they could tell by looking at you, right? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, but yeah. even in Brazil. Yeah, you can, or, when you go, or when you go to fucking the UK, like you can tell like who's American or who's British. I'm not saying that you're going to walk into a fucking project in Chicago and be welcomed with open arms. Obviously, you're hitting at like extremes there. But like, I mean, different people look different ways. It's not just like you can't fit everybody into black, brown, white, 
Asian. Like it's not that clean. It's never yeah, going to be that clean. I don't think anybody's saying that you could say absolutely because there are okay, there are people that are mixed race, but the existence of mixed race people who are racially ambiguous does not negate the existence of the races. In, in fact, it almost confirms that because they're they're two races together. That's what makes them ambiguous. You don't even there like are what race Japanese people. Like there you couldn't Chinese point out people. you couldn't point out like accurately like races or percentages even in this room. Like it's obviously it's more complicated you, than that. You're telling me that I couldn't look at at I could say Sneeko is mixed race. I could that, say what does that, that even Gideon mean? You're mixed race. But you're, are, are you're mixed race. I could say that you're white. You're and mixed. I'm white, you're and mixed race. Difficult. You've That's got curly brown every, hair. Like your last name is Fuentes. Person, like come on. Every person in this call right now is is all is easily recognizable by their race. We don't need to pull up their twenty three and me to say that there are two black people. Hey, I'm actually person. actually I'm not gonna lie, man. If you would have told me you were mixed with like a bit of black or a bit of Asian, I would have believed you, Nick. Maybe but bro, if I was yeah, black, yeah, 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 like you could definitely, you could definitely have a twenty-five, fifty person. I could see it, Nick. But the like, it's like so, like surface level. Just like, like what, what does being black mean? What does being white mean? Oh, we you know deeper. It's like you look at it so surface level. Well, here's the thing about race. That's your favorite thing yes. to say, man. <laughs> what? This, everything surface level. Surface level. That's oh. the best way to big bro somebody. Just oh yeah, it's surface level. Is it not? Like, it's I'm black. Right. What does that mean? I'm black. That's a fucking color. Black is a color. I'm not black. Like, black is, this is, this is black. I'm not fucking black. Like, but we just say black. Point being is that you're, you're descended from people that come from Africa. And you could say, well, what does white mean? Well, white means descended from people that come from Europe. And you're right. It's not. Where do the Europeans not... come from? I mean, technically, aren't we all descended from Africa? <laughs> if you want to get technical well, about it. That's you can say the N-word. Think about it. Desi, say the N-word. Desi, say the N-word right now. Why? Whoa, what the whoa, fuck? Whoa, Chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. You threw it at me? No, so Destiny say the N-word. He wants it so bad. No, I don't. Oh, Chill, what? damn. One time. Oh, I, I, thought you, I, thought you, I only did that when I had my cozy stream on, okay? Chill. Holy Wait, shit. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm not going to lie. Nick is saying some crazy stuff, but he's not saying anything to the fact that he's going to be banned from banks or airlines so i want to know what are you really saying because you have to be saying something crazy there's no way that the stuff you're saying is what got you banned from banks and where's stuff. Your book? i don't have a book oh wait the book i showed yes where's that book which one the one i showed the other day you know the book there has to be more to the story which one i don't have it on me my books are over there but the book that got you banned for the banks and the airlines the book is the, the reason you're on cozy tv the end of every conspiracy theory that book like I don't have that book. I, I was I was telling you about it, but uh, okay. No, well the thing is, the reason is is because if you really go into every conspiracy theory, and I'm not saying I believe in it in Minecraft, but the end of every conspiracy theory is that Jews control everything in Minecraft. Well, that's a big part of it. But here's the thing: we can just call them the villagers, okay? Yeah, the villagers. When you say certain things, there there's an activist class that exists in America. It's comprised of the ADL, the SPLC, groups like that, and they happen to form the they're, they're called the trusted flaggers on YouTube. They're, they're designated the specialists in hatred and political narratives, and they are able to flag. Like a, a user on YouTube can flag a video and say, oh, this is hate speech, this violates a TOS. The ADL is, is a group founded in defense of a Jewish guy 100 years ago who raped some girl. The ADL he, to be can clear, he as, didn't. That's not true. That's fake news. Oh, okay, friend. sure. The ADL can go in and they can flag a video, and as a trusted flagger, the video automatically gets taken down. That's one example of their power. There's a group of activist, uh, activist special interest groups. They're designated experts in hate. They're designated experts in political narrative. And if you say these kinds of things, if you say things that go against the consensus, which is promoted by the government and the media and education and university, they will flag you as a white supremacist, a hater, a Nazi, et cetera, et cetera. And they have the power to go in and they get you banned from social media and they flag your stuff to the government. And they, there are people that are paid to watch my show every night. There are pay, people paid to watch my show every night, transcribe it, find all the nasty things I've said, write articles about it, and then whenever something good happens to me, if I, if I go to an employer, they will send that dossier to the employer and say, this is someone who is, a, who is saying the wrong things, has the wrong opinions, he can't have a job. And if I were to get hired by that organization, they would rally protests against that organization until I got fired. Like, th and this is something that's very real, and, and this is what's shaping 
corporate America's wokeness. This is what shakes the government's wokeness. When the Christchurch shooting happened, they formed an international consortium of telecom companies, social media companies, etc., to censor so-called white identitarian nativist, white separatist, all kinds of ideas. And who did they bring in in the congressional hearings? Who did they bring in at this consortium to inform them and give them the specialized knowledge of who to censor and who to ban? They brought in the activist class. They brought in these activist organizations. That's why you have that, like, that's the basis of political censorship. So that, oh, that's the big part. Okay, so, wait, so, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a question. I have a question for, that means you didn't want to know. So we understand that there is all this kind of censorship going on. Our question to you is, what did you say specifically around that time that you got banned? Do you know or you not know? Or are you just saying this is all like a hit job or whatever? You had to say something crazy. There's That's no what you want it's, it's all kind of, Well, I mean, it, it, the thing is, it's not about necessarily a specific thing. It's broadly that I am a race realist. It's because I criticize Jewish power. It's because I criticize my, certain in things. Minecraft. Oh, okay. In okay, Minecraft. Got it. Conspiracies. And, and so oh, I've been banned from uh, many things over the past five years. It's not, it's never one specific thing. I got banned from PayPal four years ago. I got banned from YouTube in 2020. I got put on the federal no-fly list last year. It, it's things that, ha my first hit piece was written about me in 2017 because I said we shouldn't import ISIS to the United States. Like, so it's many things over the course of five years. Was that really all you said? Well, there's, I, I, you're that, bullshitting. I can tell really you're bullshitting. You said, <laughs> well, how am I bullshitting? You're literally, you're, bro, there's no, you're bullshitting, bro. Just tell us, what did you say? I said he took rat on him. Yeah, I, right, I feel yeah. like I remember there being a leaked phone call and some other stuff that came out too that got you kicked out of school too, no? Was that? Yeah, yeah, that is something. Something yeah, about like, that. if a white girl dates a black person, it's the same as like fucking a dog, something like that, maybe? Am I? There <laughs> we go. Am I remembering there this? There we fucking this go. Correctly? Of course. Oh, no, no. No, you're not oh, there it is. Thank right you, Destiny. Yeah, I appreciate well, I, that. I, I might even take it out. I'll let him defend himself. I, I know that confirms everybody's biases, but that's not what I said. And I'll, I'll tell Wait, you. Tell, you what, tell us what you said. Yeah. I will. That's a very funny story because here I was at this job training for the Leadership Institute, which is this conservative thing. And I'm hanging out with a bunch of people late into the night. And at this point, I'm like a target, okay? Because. I was supposed to be working at Daily Wire, which is Ben Shapiro's company, and they didn't want me working there because I kept saying, hey, why do we send all this foreign aid to Israel? Why did Israel blow up the USS Liberty? Why why have the Jews been expelled from 109 countries? Like, you know, jokingly, what's going on with that? Jokingly me, or, but okay. Oh, well, jokingly, but also an inquiry. And, and they said, well, you know, you can't work for us because those are hateful questions. You, those are hateful questions. You can't talk about that. We're never gonna hire you. So there was this girl, Cassie Dillon, who had it out for me because I went against the Jews, okay? So then I go to this job training. <laughs> when he says that, what he means is because he was anti-Semitic. There's a lot of coded language in here, but okay, so go ahead. <laughs> in Minecraft, God damn it, bro! Okay, all right, all right. So that Minecraft bullshit's not gonna work, it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. This is real life. So now months later, so months later, I go to this job training and I'm friends with all these people. I'm there for a couple weeks and we're just shooting the shit. It's like 3 a.m. We're all hanging out and we're at, we're, it's like we stayed overnight. It's our last night there. Long story. And so anyway, to make the long story short, we're all just talking and I'm playing devil's advocate. We're talking about things. And I said, you know, you could laugh, but this is bullshit that this happens. Oh. I, I think that we're all friends. And so I said, yeah, like I'm against race mixing. Like I said to you guys right now, I said, yeah, I, I don't approve of that. That's against my values. I value my identity, blah, blah, blah. And there's this girl in there who's a total whore, by the way. And she's <laughs> totally like, unnecessary, uh, but okay. Well, she, uh, she, she <laughs> had the name of a <laughs> in fact, Destiny. I know you love women. Dude. Like, no, 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 no. Hold she on. gave it up to you, hold but on, I highly doubt she gave it up hold to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When I, when no I say, way she gave it up to you. Hold on. When I say calling her whore is unnecessary, I don't, I'm not trying to respect women. Fuck women. I'm just saying you're adding extraneous details to try to damage her credibility to make your side of the story seem better. She's just mad she didn't give it up. You're mad she didn't give it up. She's not a credible person because she fucked three of the guys. Well, that's a good thing she wrote. She had an audio recording, so. We don't have to worry about her credibility, but go well, ahead. Here, well, here's why I'm giving the backstory. Here's why uh -huh. I'm giving the backstory. So she was a friend of Cassie Dillon's, and Cassie Dillon is up with Daily Wire working for Ben Shapiro. And so so, I, so we're talking. I said, yeah, I'm against race mixing. And these people are shocked, and they're saying, oh, my gosh, don't you know that's not politically correct? Don't you know that's not the liberal consensus? And this girl starts recording me and says, so, Nick, do you think that having sex with a black guy is the same as having sex with a dog? And I said, no. I said, no, it's not the same. I said, but but, bo I said, but both to me are wrong. I said, I wouldn't do that with a dog. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. And I'm trying to remember because I legit don't remember. We can bring up the recording. Did you say, no, it's not the same, it's worse? 
No, no, I did not say Somebody that. Somebody link me that. Oh, let me link the call. I want to hear it. I need to hear it in chat. Oh, yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. I got to hear it. I... You're completely misrepresenting. And I said, the, no, but the... they both be degenerate. That that was what I said. Oh, he said, but both would be degenerate. That's what I remember. Yeah. Okay, okay. There and go. here's okay. the thing. But here, here's, here's why that matters. Here's why I'm making a big deal. Because people could roll their eyes and say, oh, it's the same thing. Here's why that matters. It's fucking bullshit that in America, we have like this Stasi political correctness where what I'm saying is I don't like race mixing. And I'm, I think I'm among friends, but then I get a little girl <laughs> filming me covertly saying, so you think, so what you're saying is this? No, boom, sent to Cassie Dillon, sent to Media Matters, published all, Nick says this, Nick said this thing, oh, no, fire him, cool. ban him, that's fucked up, That that is, we about can't it. There's have nothing... free speech if uh, if we have that. Going if, if, you're, if you're cool with free speech, that's how you think. So you should say it out in the open. Why are you mad that she recorded it and put it out in the open? I Me mean, oh, hold up, hold up. In his defense, in his defense, if I'm having a proper conversation with you three should not be on recorded. a Discord and you record it, even if I'm fine with what you said, I still feel very offended by the fact that you put it out. I can that, understand that, that, but if you're like at a political leadership conference, like, bro, there are certain people who like, if you're in the political world, if I'm talking to you, I'm assuming every DM is getting leaked. That's pretty wild. Like if I was hanging out with fucking Ben Shapiro and Elijah Schaefer and other daily white people, and I was like, man, black people, they fucking that. stink, was, don't they? I would imagine that. I'm going to get fucking fried at some point. Like that's pretty obvious. It wasn't that. That destiny, because you're a liberal and you always say the right things. You know that you're on no, the side. No, that's nothing. Hold on, stop. You're grow up. No, grow up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, yes. him, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him. Sneeko, go ahead. Say what you want. To say. They're saying in the donos too that Destiny knows full well Nick did not say that he always jumps on these as a white savior to derail the conversations. Did you really think that that's what the phone call is about? Or are you just trying to paint him as a white supremacist even more? Okay, first of all, I don't have to paint him as a white supremacist. He already says he's a white supremacist. Number one. Okay. Number two, that, the phone call did happen that he didn't admit until I brought up, which was true. And number three, I wasn't one hundred percent sure what he said, which is why I keep asking, what did you say? Did you say that? Did you say that? Did you say that? And he did mention that they were both degenerate. So I was correct on every that's point. That's different. No, okay. no, no. You no, no. Goalpost shifted. You said that I said that having sex with blacks is, is the same as having sex with the no i asked then you, you said, i asked did you, you say it was worse i asked no, you and you, then you clarified okay, and then we there tape, so that's roll it roll the tape no, no, you can roll the tape. You can roll the tape. I said, didn't you say? Did you say this? And then you said no, and then you correct. I was like, okay, you correct. You said they're both degenerate. Yeah, well, you misrepresented it to begin with. Chad I asked you a question. The only true. reason we're even talking about the phone call right now is because I brought it up because you tried to obfuscate by not bringing up that phone call, which was, I think, a big part of why people got really mad at you in 2017. Listen, you, you could play everything back, but this is what they do. I am a political activist, which if people want to know my views, I could tell them very precisely and in a very straight way, these are my political views. But this is what happens. I will say a joke, and people that are paid to watch my show will take will clip a five-second joke, post it on the internet, and say, oh, Nick said this. So that means he's X, Y, and Z. I'll be in a private conversation, not with Elijah and Ben Shapiro. I'll be in a private conversation as an 18-year-old kid at a job training at 3 a.m. and be secretly, and you know how it goes. Everybody, I don't drink, but everybody there's drunk. You know that kind of environment. You know that environment when, you know, people are drinking, you're hanging out, it's late at night. I'm not going to say things in a private setting like that the same way that I'd say them in front of an official audience publicly. No, hold on. You, you don't get to hang and your head. You this is what happens. No, 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 no. But, but this is the problem. And so things like that are going to be selected, taken, blown up, misconstrued, like you just said. Didn't you say it's this? No, 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 no. Hold on. You mischaracterize so, the meaning no, of no, it. No, no, you don't get to hang your hat. No, no, totally hold on. You're, you're trying. To you're, a free society. No, no, you're trying to throw your lot in with people that are unfairly canceled. For people that have something taken out of context or misconstrued or something that misrepresents what a person actually believes. You're so wrong. say like I'm hanging out with ABBA and we're making racist jokes at each other and whatever, and that gets leaked and the people are like, oh, they're both racist. That would be wrong because neither of us are racist. However, However, nothing that got leaked from that call misrepresents your point of view. All of that is true. You do think black and white people being together is degenerate. You do think that Jews secretly Max run the world. You do right. think that their like race realism is like a foundational belief of, of your structure. None of the things that got put out there are misrepresenting your points of view. They're all Yo, true. People that, are, people that are getting scared of being canceled and stuff are being scared of being misrepresented, not of having their accurate viewpoints shown to the public. But that's the thing. I'm not talking about cancellation. I'm not talking about necessarily misrepresenting. What I said was there's an activist class of people that it is their job to say, if you have, because you're right, I am a race realist and I do believe these kinds of things, but it is their job to hunt down anybody with those viewpoints, even people like me that don't say the, these things in a way that is as abrasive or say these things in a way that's as provocative. There is an activist class that it's their job. Again, I'm not talking about cancel culture. 
I'm talking about an activist class that it's their job to misrepresent, misconstrue, and bury anybody with a different You're opinion. not being misrepresented people, or misconstrued, though, Ned. Because me? you Why keep you obfuscating. Keep obfuscating. You're talking around. You're lying so much. Yeah. I'm not well, obfuscating. As soon as you brought up the phone call, you did, the you did misrepresent the phone call as soon as you brought it up, Destiny. I was the only no, one that no, brought no. up the phone call. He denied the phone call even existed. I was just asking oh. what he said on it. <laughs> okay, so just to bridge the gap, Destiny may have misconstrued at the beginning, but he did afterwards ask the question to clarify. Okay? So... He did off the top, but then asked the question, what did you actually say? So I think we can all move past this fucking point because there's no sense going back and forth about it. Yo, now, Nick, how old are you? He's 23. You're, Nick, how old are you? Yo, that's crazy. Gideon, some, Gideon, some white dude in his boxers just came out right behind you that's like he crazy, came out bro. the bedroom. What the yo, fuck? Yo, bro. Yo, Gideon. Yo, yo, yo. That's my editor. Hey, listen, listen. I don't know who it is. I'm just saying this, Gideon. I got a lot of love for you. You you got your shit together. You two's popping. But your place looks like it's a, a, a crack house half the time I see it. It looks like a <laughs> hot mess. House, yeah. yeah, yeah, you got dudes walking around the underwear. I see pipes in the corner like, what's popping? I'm living crazy. up to the stereotypes of Nick, man. You know, we're, we're all degenerates in his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Gideon, you're on Nick's ass right now, but did you know that Destiny doesn't believe in God? Shorts. These are shorts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, bro, bro I can see above that. your knees, bro. Get, yo, get this man off the screen. Get him some pants, bro. Uh, Nick, this is what I'm trying to figure out. So yeah. I feel like you, I guess your viewpoint is we need to rise against the system, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So if your viewpoint That's is we need to ride the against system. the system. That's any trust it. Why are you alienating all these other races and just not keeping it? it. <laughs> How is he not? How is he not alienating other races? He's been he's not talking about other that. races. He's not saying other races are degenerate. He's saying that race mixes. Nah, not, okay, okay. All, what I'm saying is he's making it a, like white people need to fix this problem. Why can't all other races like? Why are you so okay? No mixed breeding. No none of this. None of that. But you're so let's go against the system. Isn't it impossible to go against the system unless we all unite? Yeah, I believe we should all unite. I'm for the other races. And the thing is, you know, there are, when I do a conference every year called AFPAC, and when I do my conference, there's lots of black people that go to my conference. There's a lot of Hispanic people that go to my conference. There's a lot of Asian people that go to my conference. Yeah, you know, I have Jewish Nick, friends. You know, put so, me out to Nick, when I got banned, two kids came up to me in the street and said, go on Cozy TV. It was a black dude and a Spanish dude. I had no idea who Nick Fuentes was. And then I heard, started hearing about him, like, what? How are a black, a black and a Spanish dude t putting me on to this guy? And supposedly guys like Destiny are calling him a racist every day. Keep in mind that when he's keep in mind keep in mind that when he says he's for the other races, he means he's for them going back to their countries and living there in harmony. Okay, that's what he means. He when says that. You, you, you've, oh, been writing, oh, oh, you've been writing for him. Oh, oh. I want to hear what your opinion on Nick. What's your opinion on Nick? Like, I'm. Well, I'm, I'm not going to interrupt for nothing. A, what is your opinion? Nick and I have a very similar worldview. Nick believes a lot of the of what's going on behind the scenes. Nick also believes in God. We have a like, but I'm not a white dude, so I can't agree with him on most of the stuff. But he, what he thinks about the system, I also think. But Destiny, on the other hand, like, I think that they provide the system provides like this moral high ground for people like Destiny to be not like to not believe in God, to be LGBT plus Q, to say the right opinions, to be cancel culture. And that's the shit that oh. kind of annoys me because you get to feel right all the time and you get to feel smarter because they like they give you these ideas to push. And it pisses me off that people like Nick get silenced when ultimately like he has the same objective. He knows that people are on islands touching kids and the Federal Reserve is all fucked up and that's who's really pulling the strings behind the scenes. Just so how you, can you okay, possibly so you don't care about the other evils that Nick does, but since he has somewhat of the same view as you, you're going to go with him to the promised land, basically. What evils? What that's, e what that, that's, what, that's what I'm getting hold at. The, is, I don't know what's evil, necessarily. <laughs> that That's the thing. And here's, wanna... here's why I say that. Destiny is platformed on YouTube. Destiny is platformed by Visa and MasterCard. He's platformed by the banks. I'm not. Now, do you think that I'm deplatformed from everything because all of the fucking corporations and Visa and MasterCard and the federal government and Congress decided he's a really rude guy, he's a really mean guy that hurts the feelings of minorities? Or do you think that they get together against people like me or Jared Taylor or Alex Jones or Sam Francis or whoever because we're we're saying something that goes against the their consensus ideology about the world and going against their power because mm -hmm. th that's fundamentally the left wing conceit is that all like these activist organizations really just care about meanness and it's about hate that's the most that's the most asinine thing that you know reactionary dissident politics is about primitive hate 
I think that hating people on the basis of their skin color is primitive. I think that prejudice is, is primitive and sad. Now, that's a far cry from saying that human beings are unequal. Individuals are unequal and groups of people are unequal. Now, do you think the government says, oh, you're like, you're just, that's such a mean thing to say. You can't use a bank account? Or do you think I can't use a bank account you're because I'm saying Obama. that Israel blew up the USS Liberty deliberately because but Israel did 9-11 and brought us into the Iraq war and Afghanistan war okay. in Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto. Okay. That's why, and, and Destiny agrees with uh, all of the Fortune uh, 500 uh, companies in the world. Yes. Uh, all, right, all right, just before, yo, uh, Jadion, can you add Don to the call if you have him on Discord? And the second thing, I want to ask uh, you. This is, I, can't, I don't think I can add him because this is Nico's Discord. Okay, I'm adding it right now. All right, cool. All right, Nick, I got to ask, are, are you are you down with multicultural countries, people that import folks from all over? Uh, well, as far as multi... Hang on, so, is someone talking? Yo, Don, mute yourself. Okay, so so yes, I ask you, uh, are you are you fine with multicultural countries? I think that uh, it, no, well, I, I think that ideally countries would not be multicultural. Okay, well, multi ethnic really. Who doesn't want a multi ethnic country, right? Well, I, it depends on what you mean by that. Because well, if you think really, that a, per a person's biology is going to determine their culture, then you think that any multi ethnic country necessarily is going to be multicultural. So you want like singularly ethnic countries with however you arbitrarily mm -hmm. define well, ethnicity. Here's the thing: you're you're talking about two different things. We could say that people are different. We could also say that we live in the world, and the world is a complex place. And so, really, all, all countries are, in some sense, they have different ethnicities or different cultures within them. You could say that France prior to mass immigration was a multicultural country. They had all kinds of regional dialects. Okay. That's why I okay. say, what do you mean by that? Oh, okay, okay, just, just to simplify my question. What, do you think that countries that work with like having black folks, Arabs, Muslims, Christians, do you think those countries are good or would you rather those countries stay monocultural, like one religion, one race? I think that a country should have an ethnic and cultural core. You know, like America always had blacks and Hispanics and Asians in it, but what's happening right now is it's becoming a majority minority country where there's no clear majority. You're going to have whites in the minority. Everybody's going to be a minority. I, I think that's a recipe for conflict. I think that's a recipe. Why? For Why? Why is it a recipe for conflict if there's more minorities than uh, like white people? Do you want? Like, does it mean like white people need to be in power for there to be like structure? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I'm saying that there there has to be some kind of agreement on you know what what constitutes national identity for there to be any kind of cohesion. I think that if if you have all these different groups, what you really wind up with is a, is like a jurisdiction with many different nations within it. Like, and I'll give you an example. You look at like uh, the city of Chicago. It's one of the most violent cities in the country and it's one of the most multicultural multiracial cities in the country and you have gang wars and you have racial conflict you have you have blacks agitating against whites you've got hispanics and blacks fighting you've got blacks fighting each other and and the thing is is that you know whatever you think about this when different groups of people get together like they tend to fight people form a okay of consciousness okay this is good so so this is between black Americans and white Americans, according to you in Chicago, right? You're saying they're fighting each other, yada, yada. And so, Hispanics, too. And, and oh, oh, okay. everybody's oh, 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 okay, okay. That, that, okay, that's good. That's good. So I, I want to ask you, considering you are acknowledging that this is a conflict between people who have always been in America, right? Black Americans for the most part and white Americans. Do you feel like these people should separate countries to some degree? I, because, think, that, I think that people should be free to associate. I think that because the way it was for a long time and, and is you know, a product of the law, you had sort of like people being segregated by law, by government. I think that people should be able to choose who they want to get along with. The problem is we've got this society where everybody's being smashed into each other. People are being forced together. And if people want to live in a multicultural city, then they can. And if people don't, then they shouldn't be forced to. But when people tend to, to mix and live together, it tends to create conflict. And then this is true. This is backed up by the data, by the way. The more diverse countries are, the more the more violent they are, the more That's conflict true. that they have within them. That's true. So, Okay, so wait, Sneeko, you feel the same way? Do you feel like we should be separating the communities? No, it's too late. I think we're all too integrated of a country to go back, and there's no point in putting a stop to immigration. But what he's saying, like Japan and Sweden, the countries with the least amount of immigration have the most amount of harmony. Huh. That's true. In America, America, and I agree with Sneeko. I agree that America is the way it is, and we've got to figure out a way to make it work. I so, believe okay. that. So, so Sneeko, if you could, if you had a magic wand, you'd want to separate the races and the cultures in America? I think that's an, an arbitrary question because, like, look at me. Like, I'm the result of America. Like, it, saying that would just evaporate me. 
I'm the result of how diverse America well, is. Well, let's say, let's say we took all the mixed people and we put them with the black folks. Would you be down if I gave you a wand tomorrow? Would you want to separate all the ethnicities? No, because then I wouldn't be able to exist. Bro, okay, well, okay, okay, you... okay, okay, take yourself out of it. Let's say you didn't exist and you had to make a good world, okay? I gave you a wand. Would you want to separate the ethnicities because you say it creates more harmonies? And does slavery still exist? Well, in your ideal world, there's more harmony, so no, there wouldn't be slavery, right? Yeah, yeah, there's no slavery. So slavery never happened. So, 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 okay, I don't even know what the fuck that means, but let's move past that. Slavery didn't happen, no, okay? If you had the choice today, would you take a wand and separate all the ethnicities? Yeah, I think the world would have been better if white people didn't colonize the whole world. If they just stayed in their own countries and they let the natives do their thing and they let Africans do their thing and the Indians do their thing, the world would be a better place, yeah. I think um, the Crusades and everything started a lot of violence and war that was unnecessary. And well, that's the on. same mindset as like neo-Nazis. That's the exact same thing that yep. they think. They think <laughs> everybody true. needs to be separate and the, to themselves. The, the, well, if, yeah, but, I guess so. But there's just not, that's not a realistic thing to say now. So I don't think that it's possible to advocate for. But that's your ideal world, though. Like, no, obviously, there's a lot of things well, that aren't realistic, wait, 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 but that's you and Nick's ideal I world. It would not exist. You're asking me to speak from like a white perspective, and I can't do that. But it's not a white and black thing, you know? Is you, you it's, it's just not white people and there's not just black people. There's Destiny, black people, there's white people, there's you, you, Asians, you, you, there's Mexican that, people. That, that, Desi, you don't think colonialism and the crusades and that's what's ruined a lot of... I think that there are problems, problems, but I think we can aspire to a more than like a mono-ethnic fucking world where we have to say that like it's there's no possibility for all of us to be able to get along with each other. Like when we look at the divides in the United States right now, we look at our huge divides, they're not even really racial. They might seem like it, but that's not true. Like the biggest divide in the United States is between city people and country people. Can you people. hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you might find, like, huge divides between, like, classes sometimes. You might find huge divides between, like, different geographic areas. But it's not, it's not just, like, all black people versus all white people, right? Like, what, like a white person and a black person living in some deep south fucking Louisiana, Alabama or someplace is going to have more in common than a white person living in Louisiana and a white person in New York or San Francisco. That's just true. Yeah, so, I mean, true. like, the idea that, like, we can divide so cleanly ideologically along racial lines in any country is almost never going to be true. I mean, oh, look wait, at, like, I, Ireland and Northern Ireland. How long were these I people mean, fighting and bombing each other? And these are, like, the I mean, whitest you, fucking people in the world. If you guys yeah, just but look, that's... You know, hold, 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 go, on, go, go ahead, Don. Go ahead, Don. I was just trying to point out, though, like, I just pulled up a list of the most violent countries. It's not like these are all cultural uh, mixing pots. It's not like, you know, we have Afghanistan, Syria, South Sudan, Ye Yemen, Iraq. If you look at the ethnic m background of these countries, you'll find that they're all pretty much the same there there's a, a great degree of homogeny among in these nations so what do you say to that america's ranked all the way at number 36 while possibly being the most racially diverse country in the world so the idea that racial diversity is what is yielding this violence in society is just completely unsupported by the the information and to add on to what don just said a lot of those countries when you really look into it is more religious based than it is racial based well, here's what I would have to say about that. I would say, number one, if you look at the most violent countries, it, it is a lot of ethnic diversity. America is actually not one of the most diverse countries in the world. If you look at African countries and Asian countries, you might look at an Afri African country and say, oh, it's, it's all African people. But there is a lot of ethnic diversity in Africa. There's more ethnic diversity in Africa, arguably, than in any other continent. So I would say the looks can be deceiving if you look at it. And if you plotted all the countries in the world on a map, the least diverse are the least violent, and the most diverse are the most violent and the most civil disorder. But look at how, look at how, look at how, wait, 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 just one quick question. How do you, because now, because earlier you were saying. Whoa, you just finished. I didn't interrupt you. Okay, he's just going to ramble for 20 minutes. Fuck, it's unbeatable. You do, you ramble so much. I'll put a timer on. Go ahead. I got a quick point, which is, yeah, I, I, there are religious conflicts. There are ideological conflicts. That does not negate the existence of racial conflicts. And and what does that say, though? People with different strongly held views, people with different identities, people with different cultures fight. Religious conflicts are a conflict of diverse religious thought. Ideological conflicts are a result of diverse ideological thought. Racial conflicts are the result of diverse races living in the same polity. That's all I'm saying. And, okay. and to an extent, we have to live with that.
Okay, Destiny, go ahead. I, yeah, I counted just, just 30 I, yeah, seconds. Sure. Okay, so I just want to be clear. Like, notice how slippery he is between how he defines positions. Earlier, we were talking about how, like, you can't, like, his point earlier was that black people are black, brown people are brown, white people are white. Looking at, like, difference between black and brown people is really dumb. But now when we're talking about Africa, all of a sudden, that place where everybody's just black, well, now it's the most ethnically diverse nation on earth. How yeah, the fuck do we go from one to the other? And then secondly, and then secondly, earlier he's talking about, like, really diverse places, you know, cause crime. The more diverse, the more crime. But what do you hear white nationalists always say over and over again? What's the number one killer? black men, other black people. It's not like we've got like race wars going on in the United States where a lot of ethnic diversity exists. It's usually people that are victimizing themselves. It's not black people running out killing white people, white people running out killing black people. It's just crime within communities. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 let Don, let Don, hold on, hold on, no, no, you, you got more than, you got more than this, I'm timing everything. Don, go ahead and then we'll go back to you. No, nah, no, nah, I was just saying that Destiny's been bars. I ain't got nothing to add to that. That was all bars right there. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Nick. Uh, that is, first of all, earlier Destiny was saying that we couldn't tell what races the people on this call were. And it was in the context of that that I said, are you fucking kidding me? Of course, we can identify the races of the people on this call. I said, though, earlier, if you remember, I said that it is complex. I said identity is complex and people have different levels of identity and, and different identities have different levels of salience. You have an ethnic identity, you have a racial identity, a national identity, your religion is part of your identity. People are complex. A, a black person is not just black. A black person could live in a particular region and have a regional identity and they come from a certain country in Africa and have a certain tribal thing. It's complex. And the point is, it's not to say we're talking about concepts here. The more diverse a society is, the more the potential for conflict there is. If you have a group of 10 people and they all look the same and they all are the same, the, the, the possibility for conflict will be reduced dramatically. If you've got 10 people and one of them believes in God and one of them doesn't and one of them's a Muslim and one of them's an Indian and they're all different races and they're all different genders, the possibility for conflict is greater. Now that's a hypothetical and that's abstract, but that's to demonstrate the principle, which is that diversity as a rule, leads to conflict. Difference leads to conflict. Now, oh. if we understand that rule, then we can understand society, which is that not necessarily we should have no difference because that would be boring and that then you don't have progress and things like that. But it is to say, is it a good idea to import 30 million immigrants in 30 no. years? No. Probably just, not. Just, so two points on that. So number one, this is just a quick question. Do you know what race Nico is? Uh, I do actually. Yeah, he's Haitian, Asian, and white. And so would you be? Race. Would you have known <laughs> that just <laughs> looking at him without knowing his background? When I know that he's mixed race. Would yes. you know what his races are? Because you said you could tell everybody's race on the panel. I, I, like I said, I could tell he's a mix between black and white, which he is. <laughs> okay. But I guess the Asian, so that, maybe yeah, not. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so you can't wait. Hold on. Wait. So you can't. You can't tell the race of people immediately in this very diverse sense you talk about when Africa is the most diverse place I in the world. I just did. So number one, he's mixed race. You did, you, that's that's not an answer. Mixed race is not an answer. So number one. Yes, number two. You said something earlier that was Hang really on, that's important. An you said that's not an answer. So something you said oh, earlier. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. Something that you said. Yeah. So it's not an answer because you said that Africa was the most diverse continent on Earth, which means they can't all be black. They're different types of races. So you've defeated your own. We're talking okay. about ethnic diversity. So, diversity is diversity. So, We're not strictly talking hold on, about... Hold you know, hold when on, I get Nick, to finish, yeah, it's the ramble, dude. It's unbeatable, okay? So something you said earlier is very true and very astute. You said that diversity leads to conflict, and that's a really good point. However... Um, fuck, I don't know the name. Wait, do you agree so with that? Don, so Don over here brought up that there are all sorts of racially homogenous countries, and there are countries around the world right now in current genocides that are very homogenous when it comes to race. And you very correctly and very intelligently pointed out, well, hold on, people can have a diversity of religious thought, of cultural opinion, of different types of backgrounds, of different forms of government. These people can all fight. That is true. But what you fail to realize is that if you were to eliminate the diversity of race in some country, well, there would be other diverse aspects you'd have to fight on. So what is your goal at the end of the day? Are you going to try to eliminate the one million different ways that a country can be diverse, or are you only fixated on eliminating one of those diversities where other types of diversities can still lead to things like genocide? And if you are going to eliminate just one, why? If there are still people well, are that are genocide about? in this, what part of that what didn't make sense? What are you talking sense? about? What? Here's, here's what doesn't make sense. Here's what doesn't make sense. I, I, hold on. I think he, Destiny's making perfect sense, but he's building it on a point, that a valid point that you made, um, that when people have different beliefs, I believe that is what is at the heart of the matter is different beliefs different ideologies different moral codes right i think that is what is at the heart of all of the conflict you know in conjunction with what are those moral codes you know what are you, what is your morality based upon if it isn't based upon something solid then you know even in a society where there might be a degree of homogeneity in terms of 
ideologies and religions, you might still then still see a, a lot of violence happening in that area. You look at a place like Afghanistan, right, which has a lot of homogeny in, in both the ethnicity of the people and the religious beliefs, but still one of the most violent countries in the um, world, far more violent than we, what we can say, far more violent than America, far less diverse than America. At least we can look at that. And we can still identify that it is far more violent. Why is that? It's because the 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 moral codes that their culture is built upon allows for that. Or at least the people in charge, what the people in charge believe. You know what I mean? So the people okay. with all the guns. Okay. So I, I want to move on from this race discussion because oh, I think it's well, no. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I want to move on because I think it's like Destiny and Nick going back and forth. No, no, because I want to actually, I, I want to say one thing on the matter because I know they've all had their chance. So I want to say one thing okay. on the matter. Real time, so you said real time. All, all, all time diversity leads to conflict. And as a result of so much tribal matters going on in Africa, that leads to a lot of the interpersonal conflict between a lot of the communities. But I would say like the, the main differences that exist between uh, different tribes within Ethiopia, for example, aren't that drastically different than the differences that exist in America between someone from Texas and New York, someone from uh, Sicily and Milan, someone from Paris and uh, Toulouse. Those people feel so drastically different about their identity and their community, and that is a difference. In a, it's pretty much the same thing as tribalism just by, di by based off where you live geographically. So my question is, if you feel like diversity leads to so much conflict, how come you're not seeing that replicate in a lot of these countries, which I would argue are just as diverse in regards to how they think about things and how they view things politically? Well, I would say, I, I want to say, some, I'll answer that, but about destiny. And here, here's the issue always with the debate. Here's, here's how it always goes. There's always this string where it goes, okay, there are races. You know, races are real. If there's difference, then there's a possibility for conflict. All of that has sort of been conceded, but Destiny goes, okay, well, that's great. So why do you want to eliminate race? And it's like, I never said that, okay? And, and I came on the stream saying, this is my understanding. My understanding is that I don't like necessarily making a country more multicultural, more multiracial, because... You know, while you may bring in diversity, which is good in some regards, it also tends to create destabilization and chaos sure. and problems. And so we need to understand the problem. I never came on here and said, we need to eliminate diversity. I never said that. I never said we need to eradicate diversity or eradicate difference. What I said, in fact, was that, like Sneeko said, America is a multiracial country. We're going to have to figure out how to get along together. But to understand that, we need to understand difference. We need to understand how people are in their, in their human nature. Tribalism is an unfortunate fact of human nature. People like people that are similar to them. That's just a fact of human nature. We unfortunately can't eradicate that. Wish we could, then we could create heaven on earth. We can't create heaven on earth. But we need to understand each other to make a harmonious, prosperous society. Now, as far as, as uh, what was your question again? It was about- uh, well, 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 but I think the issue that everyone here is having is that you're trying to see there's this huge separation along racial lines. But what most of us here would argue is that somebody who's black and lives in Texas would have more in common with the white person living in Texas than they would with someone from New York. So I don't understand why there's such a fixation on race when really it's a matter of geography and local localized culture more than it is about race. I don't know why you and Sneaker are like, yeah, I think things would be better if black stayed there or whatever stayed there. I think they would still have equal amount of conflict but no, I mean, no, that's a good question but all we have to do co and you go by cozy yes cozy tv okay cozy well, oh no that's not my name my name's nick <laughs> that's nick, my nick, nick. okay 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 yes <laughs> pleasure to meet i'll meet you nice to meet you all right yeah my question is though but does the race get in the way of your ability to you know interact peacefully and, and happily with other people from other races and other ideologies not for me and and it shouldn't for a person but when we're talking about a country, we're talking about a country of 300 million people. And so when you're forcing a large people, right? What's that? If there were 300 million individual. All right, let's put it like this. If there were 300 million people like you, then there would be at least no violence as a result of racial differences. Are we No, because I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sweetie and I'm a peaceful person. So the so point probably is not. not really about it's not about you it's not or it's not about the color of your skin or your race it's about your morality it's about your decision making what's right what's wrong how do we treat other people isn't that what it all comes down to um well i mean you could say that but the thing is is that you know human beings have a tendency to fight with each other and and the, you can say that we could say that sitting down here but what happens when what what would happen if you and i were living in the same house 
Mm-hmm. That, that's the kind of concept. When you and I are on a Discord call, we're sort of strangers, and we're talking about ideas, that's great. But what if we're living in the same house and there's a fight over, you know, who gets to shower when and who gets this seat on the couch and who... These are the kinds of things that happen in a dance... Wait, do you think you'd fight with him because population. he's black over wait, wait, that? I wouldn't fight about stuff like that. And Hold, hold, hold the, the, I want to hear Destiny's, the answer to Destiny's well, question. Well, yeah, would you fight yeah. more with a black person over who gets to use the shower? Yes, over... yes. And, here, and here's why. Because... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> let him let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Go ahead. Listen, hey, here, here's the thing. Here's no, the no, thing. Let him answer. Let him answer. I want to hear here's this. If, if you believe in the same ideology as Visa, MasterCard, and Disney, and the Federal Reserve, that everybody is exactly the same, and racial conflict isn't real, and race isn't real, then, yeah, that's fucking hilarious. And we could all laugh about it, and we can wonder why America's going down the tubes right now. But here's the thing. What's in prison? White the reason people still go to white people, black people still go to black people, and they're obviously going to fight a white person. A black person going to fight with a white person, and a white person going to fight with a black person over the shower. Hold on. Hold on. Why, why are we talking not, about? Why are we talking about prison? Well, prison because is a completely different, different environment. Up, that's when we don't have like Discord, and that's where people act in their natural state. People are very prison is literally the that, least natural place you can natural, be. You're literally no. locked in there with uh, more rules than any other part of society. Fighting for your yeah. survival. Prison like, is literally no, no. the least natural environment for a human being. Gang up by race in jail. The reason they do that is just because of tribalism in a survival-like environment. If I threw people yeah. in the jungle and then they only had a few morsels to feed off, I'd imagine they find some ways, either men with the men or tall people and big, strong people with those big, strong people. No, they find ways. Race. But, pick race. So does not apply to Nick's logic? Well, here, let me, let me explain what I was no. trying to say by the house example. The point is proximity and competition over resources creates racial conflict. That's my point. And this is what goes on in a city. In a city, you've got large groups of different kinds of people living together, and, and then you get things like racial inequality. Then you get things like income inequality. And then and then guess what happens? The black people start to say, well, hang on. You know, why is it that our income is low compared to the white people? Why is it that our unemployment is high compared to the white people? This is where resentment and animus begins. Because of the natural difference between people, Difference in cultures, behaviors, habits. Say customs, difference in genes. That's what you things. mean. Difference in genetics. Well, they're because they're different. Destiny. They're different. Say, on many di- we'll levels. just say what you mean. You mean difference well, in you genetics. Know, you know, Destiny. You, you know, you're such a rat. The way you do. I just it. want it's you very, to be clear. Sneaky. You mean that we have black? Sneaky. I'm not being sneaky. <laughs> we have sneaky. You're sneaky. I'm just trying to make. When you say, I just, I just want to be clear. We're talking about. We don't. We don't mean. Hey, hey, shout out, dude. Light on white violence. W in the chat. Let's go. Keep it going. Get out of here. Hang on, because we could argue. Talk to the hand, Destiny. I'm just saying. Let's just be clear. When we when we say black people are different, we mean culturally. We mean biologically different. You mean biologically different. That's a completely different conversation. We could argue if the differences come from history or whether they come from genetics. That's a separate conversation. You're a race the realist, so they come from genetics. Difference. Yeah. The point is there's difference, and you're derailing this because you don't like what I'm saying. No, it's the point. The point is people are different. People are different. People living in Chicago are different. Little Village is different than Inglewood. Inglewood is different than Lincoln Park. Now, we could debate about why well, they're different, what, what but the point is they're different. And over different, time... Though. Because they're forced to be in proximity, there will be conflict between them. And Makes that is borne out by the history of the United States of America, which is a history, in some sense, of racial conflict. And that started when the Europeans settled in the North American continent and fought with the Indians. That's true when they fought with the Mexicans. That's true when they fought. It's a constant history of tribal fighting. And the question is not, do we eliminate difference? Do we eliminate, because you can't do that. The point is, do we eliminate diversity? Because we can't do that. The question is, what kinds of policies do we want in a country? Do we want policies in a country that are going to destabilize America with too much diversity? Or do we want a more sensible policy where we can try to get a grip on the kinds of conflicts that we already have? Okay. So, to that's deal the with the heart of the matter, I think that's what it all comes down to. Because you, you're talking about oh, okay proximity, right? And like I lived, I've lived with like two different white families just as a result of me. I'm an immigrant, wasn't living with my family, going to college, live with white people. We got along just fine. They're they're like family to me. And so the point I'm making is. What mattered, though, wasn't the color of their skin and the color of my skin. What mattered, and it wasn't even cultural because they're Californians, Jamaican. Completely different lifestyle ideologies. What mattered at the end of the day was that their morals were founded on good values, good solid values, and so were mine. And I, I'm not a thief. I'm not a liar. I'm not a hateful person. Same goes for them. So it was easy to get along. So the... The difference is that you're, all it really comes down are to the matters of the heart. And it's not as if, like, 
you put you just take anybody from Chicago, like what you're saying, and you take anybody from I don't know East Village or wherever you mentioned, and put them together, that automatically means they're going to have conflict. Not if their values, the their morality is uh, aligned and those morals are based on good solid morals mm -hmm. and so that's really what it is so i agree with you yes it, it, the solution is not to try and you know uh Doc, i'm not sure how much you agreed did you know that uh nick is a catholic <laughs> yeah i was just about to say that <laughs> he's, he's literally catholic wow uh, well you know <laughs> I mean, that's not surprising. So we're supposed to fight now, see? So now he has a problem with that. Yo, no, 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 no. I got to bring it back. Dog, right. you want to hear something crazy? What? This man identifies with being Catholic more than he does white, but yeah. he wouldn't marry a black Catholic woman mm -hmm. over a Russian Buddhist. Yeah, well, that's because, you know, Catholic Catholicism is, you know... You know what I'm oh, yo, tell him, Don. Tell him that. Yo, yo, put him on that I soldier of God shit. Uh-oh. So, well, wait, wait a little second. Little you're you're telling me like, all this stuff about the heart and the <laughs> heart, Don, the heart. And we're all supposed to hold hands and sing together. But, wait, oh, but you don't, you don't care saying, for Catholicism. Yeah, there's obviously a problem going on in your heart if you feel those ways. That is not. <laughs> okay, there you go. There it is. There it is. There right? it is. Oh, yes. And that's that I'm confirming what I said. And you're <laughs> what you're saying right now. It's all about the heart. It's all so, about Nate, do you not think you're contradicting the Bible by everything you're saying? Which part? Lo lo love your enemy like your neighbor, or love your neighbor. He says he loves everybody. There's, there's, there's oh, multiple instances in the Bible where, because Jesus is, Jesus is literally Hebrew. He messes with uh, Roman soldiers, all these different races, you know, um... Israel was just a melting pot of so many different people and so many different cultures, and we're supposed to live like Jesus. D does it not say in uh, Catholic, uh, isn't it Catholic people, you have to live like Jesus, yes or no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, no, so, but you're talking about separating when hey, Jesus hey, hey, lived hey, with God. all these different races. So I mean, how are you like... Okay, what? but all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is that, that people are different, okay, races are real. <laughs> And people are different, and difference leads to conflict. And and so as a country, we need to manage that. I'm not saying I, I treat like I, I've been I've been kind to you. But guys, who needs to I, manage I that? Who do you, people differently based on who, the race? No, no, but he to manage that. Like who do you, who? Because you said there has to be a culture in power for everything to run. So there has to be more people. They have to be more people in higher positions of that culture or of that race. So what race do you think needs to be in power here in America? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said there needs you to really be. You literally said that earlier. I said there needs to be a cultural and a demographic core. I said. What should the cultural you know, and demographic core of America be? What race? It should be white. It should be okay, white. Yeah, the yeah, cultural and demographic. Well, hang on. But you're yeah, let's go. Different. Let's <laughs> go. Okay. Let's go. Hey, boys, we got it. I'll just play it. See, the thing is, what Destiny is doing is trying to derail it by throwing in, lobbing bombs in here. Okay, it's actually, let me go after him real complex. quick, okay? Let me go after him, Jesus. And, here, and here's why. Because it's actually a complex conversation, but, you know, he's going to appeal to a lot of people's preconceived notions, which is based on liberal propaganda, so that people go for the ready-made. Oh, he said... It's, it's uh, like, but, well, but it's complex. He's well, okay, complex. so let me... Uh, uh, well, can, I, can I just say one thing? Yeah. I, I just... Nick, would you admit, now I've, this call's gone long, that you actually identify more with your whiteness than you do your religious identity? Not at all. Not even a little bit. I mean, no. but it says right here in Matthew 22, right? Uh-oh. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And he said to them, you shall love the Lord with God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. The second is like it you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, but he wants to make all of his did neighbors. Did you love Obama? He, 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 want, he wants to make all of his neighbors white, so that's a difference. Nick, how did you feel when Obama was in power <laughs> and the and the first lady was Michelle? How did you feel when in eight years of blackness? Hold on, the White House was the Black House. If, if you identify with your Christian faith, right, or with your Catholic faith, and, and in Catholicism you identify Jesus Christ as as God, right, as Lord and yes. Savior, as the okay, right, and so. If your God, he who created you and the entire world that you live in, commands you, right? It says um, transgression of the law is sin. And he says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. And so if God says he commands you to love your neighbor to, to the exact same extent that you love yourself, you don't believe that the way you're talking right now is contradicting that? You think Jesus would be in agreement with you? In what way, in what way is what I'm saying contradicting that? 
Do you think Please, that the, the views you are? No, no, please don't don't ask me. Don't answer a question with the question. I mean, what you, if you, I said that contradicts you, what you just read from the Bible? You literally said that uh, you don't agree with race mixing. You feel like everybody should be separate. You feel like one race should be in power. Okay, you know, you but you said all those things, and I've said that I don't believe all those things. But yet you keep saying them for. Oh, some you, that's you literally just reiterated that you hold said white people should be. You literally said Nick, that. Nick, Nick, I got it. I, got well, I just want to be Nick. real clear, just because well, because you, you come here for only Brent mentioning. Okay, just real quick, and then you guys go. You, it's not even a question. Yeah. The, so this is something you should keep in mind. Okay, whenever I'm asking you questions, Nick, I'm just asking you to clarify your positions. I'm not accusing you of anything. Even the phone call. I'm just saying, did you say this? Did you do this? Do you believe this? That's all I'm asking. Right, you just if it makes you, if it makes you uncomfortable, you just it it, on see how you won't let me finish talking? It's because it's making you uncomfortable. Because you're lying. It's because you're it's lying. making you uncomfortable. You're, I'm you're giving... always just asking questions, but what you do is you misrepresent it. And now you have to goes, go on another well, ramble because you're uncomfortable. That's because what you're doing you right now. You're rambling lying. because you're uncomfortable. Because you tell lies. Okay. But you can finish and finish your lie. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not. I haven't lied. I'm not even making a statement you did all i'm saying you see how you're uncomfortable so all i'm doing is i'm asking you a question to clarify your position if it makes you uncomfortable to clarify your positions that's your problem not mine if you ever feel like for the rest of this call whenever we talk that i'm asking you an unfair question feel free to turn around and ask me the exact same question and i will give you a real answer like a real person and i won't sit here and go on a 17 minute tangent where i redefine 50 words and talk about well in 1776 blah, blah 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 that's all i'm saying because earlier nick is accusing me of obfuscating i'm not obfuscating i'm just asking for clarification you're the one that has to obfuscate every time you start to dance around an uncomfortable topic like trying to say that black people are intrinsically biologically different than white people on a call with four other black people i'm just trying to make sure that you're being honest with what you believe that's all i'm, I'm saying i'm not dancing okay? around that i said that nick do you think that white people should control america how are we different how are we different oh, oh. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does that mean? people should control? But, but that's the point. I ask you, should white people be in charge of America? What does that mean? What in what Oh, way? my God. Should they be the oh. cultural, should they be the race that's in charge? Should they be the dominant race? Should they be the majority? Should every other race be the minority? Should they be the people in power? Should yes. there be a white president? Should there be a white people in Congress, the majority? Should uh, should the police officers be white? Should judges be white? Should the people teach them be white? Is that your ideal America? Yes or no? No. What okay. I'm saying is, hang on, hang on, because you're... you're it, but wait, and, and Destiny I, I, says, and Destiny different. says, I go on a 17-minute tangent. Here's why I have to go on a 17-minute tangent because the question, should white people control America, doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So what I've said is there should be a cultural and demographic white core, which means I don't think that we should have a country that's majority minority. Does that mean that there can be no black police officers? Like, how does that even? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, okay? That, that's fair. That's fair. When so, I go okay, and explain that. I'm being accused of. Well, you're just dancing around. <laughs> okay, the okay. Contract. So, okay, we can have a couple black cops. That's cool. But the people that can make laws, that can make changes, yes, what should the other, they be? They could be other people. They could be people. Well, honestly, who I should the majority be? Look at how he's running from the question. Who hold should on, the majority hold. be? The majority of Americans. I think that we should have a white majority. I think that we should not we transform a white majority, majority country with immigration. We okay, but we're talking about power okay. now. The power structure. Hold on, hold, hold, hold on. And there's a Don, difference. Don, let, let Don ask his question. I'm just saying. I'm just. Uh, we already have the system you're describing. A white majority, right? A white cultural core. I don't get was we got a few black people in a few places, a few, you know, diversity in a few places. That's exactly what you're describing. The way how how is America different now than how you're describing it? Well, we have a few problems. The problem is that America is rapidly being transformed by immigration. And what you need to understand is that historically America was a white country. And it's in the past 30 years that America is becoming less so because of mass immigration. And by the way, this is not just bad for white people. It's also bad for black people. It's bad for every, <laughs> it's true. It's bad it's, for every native argue, American that's why. living in America. So I argue and, the white and here's why. Okay. I was just here, saying the reason why white people are getting replaced or getting wait, out. Wait, Don, wait, wait, Don, let him finish what you were saying. That's uh, Nick, what were you saying? Finish what you were saying. I'm, I'm saying that, you know, what we, we could talk about things in the abstract or we could talk about things as they are. And what's happening right now is that the country is being is being completely transformed with immigration. People that don't speak the language, people that have no roots here, people that don't share our religion, et cetera, et cetera. That's that's the gist of what I'm saying. We're talking about the diversity problem. The diversity problem is not that the country's 13% black. The diversity problem is that you've got millions and millions and millions of people coming here every year for 30 years with no sign of stopping, and we're going to have a country that's alien to us. We're can you, Americans. Can you give but, me one example 
in your life experience how uh, some Mexican immigrant has changed your quality of life in any way? I, I, I'll give you a perfect it, example. I'll give you a perfect example. <laughs> the city of Chicago uh, used to be a city that was built by Italians and Irish and Polish and Czech and, and that kind of thing. And neighborhoods that my parents grew up in are now completely different because of immigration, completely transformed. And, you know, the in Little Italy, in an Italian suburb where you my mom grew up. Do you have a house to immigrants? Or hey, do, you, do you even live in Chicago? Don't you have to I, live in, I live in the suburbs of Chicago. Okay, so you live in, okay. I'm saying yeah. if white people aren't there anymore, it's because those white people sold those houses, right? They don't just take them from the good white people and give them to the... But the same thing happened. Well, you were just talking right. about the same thing happened with gentrification. There are black the neighborhoods, and, and they, they raised the tax, uh, the property yeah, taxes. I was just saying that the reason why they, those neighborhoods look different is because those white people have sold those houses. Hold on. When he says lives in the suburbs of Chicago, does that mean not Chicago? Because if you said that you lived in the suburbs of, like, say, like, for a lot of cities that I know, that means you don't really live in the city. You live in, like, some place, like, fucking 45 minutes away. Does anybody know? The home was bought, and your childhood neighbor was bought up, and it just changed completely. I mean, you could say, like, well, it happened because those people sold those houses. It but is. It's still something. it's still something that would be disconcerting. And that's happening on the national Wait, level. Wait, why? Why? Why is it disconcerting? Because... There, there's a word for this. It's called oikophilia, which is your love of home. Your love of home is something that is intrinsic to all people. We love, so we love we... ourselves, we love our families, we love our God, and we love our home. And what's happening to America is our home. America is not just a place where you go to the mall and hang out. America is our home. And America is being fundamentally changed. And, and it's not even just quality of life. It's not just quantitative. It's qualitatively. America is being fundamentally transformed. And it's becoming unrecognizable to the people that made it, to, to us, the people that inhabit it now and grew up in it. And that's something that's, something is being lost there. And, okay. you know, we could describe why that's happening or whatever in, in very mechanical terms. But I want to preserve the America, not, not necessarily because nations have to change. Things have to change. We want to preserve the fundamentals of what our home is like. Well, is it, what is it? Okay. Can, can, okay, okay, so this is like, one quick question. Oh, go, oh, oh, yeah, go. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead yeah. So you hate when other nations, like there's an established race, there's established culture. You hate when another race and culture change the establishment that was already made to something new, right? I, well, I think something is lost. I think it's, I think there's. No, you hate when that happens, right? No, you don't like it. It's actually what we say. We don't need to. I don't think it matters. We say hate or dislike. It's just some, something is being lost. Someone is okay. losing. Okay. So it, you said this is our home, right, America? Mm -hmm. So the same thing happened to the Native Americans here. They were here first. This was their home. This was yeah. their culture. Then Europeans came over. So by your same logic, Europeans are wrong for what they did. Well, it's interesting that you bring that up because typically people wouldn't bring up the example of the Indians as somebody. I mean, you're essentially saying like, oh, America's being destroyed, but America destroyed the Indians. It's like, yeah. And, and you know, and that, that was a different time, you know, and, and conquest was still happening and the world was being settled. Wait, today's a different time? Yeah, I think today we realize that that's wrong. I think so that is today... Is it inevitable? Is it just change? Is it just a natural change of the world? Yeah, in some sense, in some sense, these are the forces of history. But okay. as as an American, I want to fight against that. America rewrote the history books and said, okay, we took over the continent and that's a great thing. But yeah, the Indians lost. Something was lost. Indian civilization, American Indian civilization was lost. It was wiped out. The people were wiped out. The culture was wiped out. I'm sure the Indians don't feel too good about that. As an American, I don't want America to be wiped out like the Indians were. Now, you could say, oh, well, but that happened to the Indians. Okay, well, I don't want that to happen to me. And if you're comparing, that's not a very favorable comparison saying, well, immigrants erasing America is like Americans erasing the Indians. But it's, yeah, it's we the same way. It. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. History repeats itself. It always uh, happens. De 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 hold on, hold on. De Destiny was waiting. So yeah, Destiny so just, just like as a real quick thing. So this is something that I push back historically against Nick. I never get a good answer to this, and there's never a good answer to this. There's two huge problems with this idea of preserving American character, okay? One, even with a racial, uh, with a racial hom homogeneity, countries are still going to change. And they're even going to change because of other cultures. You've got media from other countries. You've got songs on YouTube from other countries. You've got all sorts of stuff. So your culture is always going to change. You can never freeze it, number one. Number two, there is absolutely no consistent culture across the United States of America. Again, like, you're going to find greater differences between, like, one person in America versus a another person in America as opposed to, like, America versus a whole other country, right? Like, if you 
take a gay dude from San Francisco and compare him to like some, you know, white farmer dude in like Georgia, these are going to be people that are so, it's going to be more different than like a fucking Somalian and, and, and somebody living in LA sometimes. Like the difference is going to be huge. So I don't believe in this idea of preserving this consistent American culture. People can come from all over the world and find some place in the United States that you can fit in. And, and the culture is always going to be changing anyway. You're never going to freeze it. It's never happened in any country in the world. So I don't know why that would be the goal. It's unrealistic. I feel like yeah, you're yeah. always doing this thing where you have problems in the world and people do this all the time. People on the left do this. Women will blame the patriarchy for every single problem in life. Progressives will blame racism for every single problem with black people. And then conservatives, on the other hand, will blame like the media or Jews for everything. Or in your case, it's racial mixing. But the reality is, is that if we fixed all of your racial problems right now, we either exported all the black people, we curbed immigration, we did everything we wanted, all the same problems would still exist. You'd still have violence in inner cities. You'd still have the animosity Absolutely. between city and rural people. Absolutely. Getting rid of the racial minorities, getting rid of that stuff, that's not going to fix any of the problems in the United States. You're still going to have problems with the media. You're still going to have problems trusting the electoral process. You're still going to have problems between city people, rural people. It's all going to exist. It's just a cheap excuse that you use so that people can feel like they've got the one answer that solves everything. The but same Destiny, way that feminists blame men for everything. Dumb. What? That's just add on, to add on to what Destiny just said about you talking about how there needs to be a consistency of culture, even with America, there was never a consistency of culture, even after the Americans took over, I mean, the Europeans took over America. Because look at during the Civil War, there was a complete different uh, culture from the South and the North. That's why they had a Civil War. So you're talking about we need to preserve it when there was never nothing to preserve in the first place because no one was ever in one mindset. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm going to go, go Nick and then Don. Okay, yeah, the, the thing is, I don't think anybody's, I, I said that. I said to Destiny's point, Destiny said, well, countries always change. Yeah, countries do change, but what we're talking about is uh, tens of millions of immigrants in a generation. It's a big difference. And the change that would happen without tens of millions of immigrants is different than the change with all those people. So nobody's saying that societies don't change over time. I never said that societies don't change over time or vary in different places. Of course they do. But the problem is the erasure of the American national character. You could say that the national character is diverse. True. You could say that the national character has changed over time. Also true. What's happening now is not the American character changing over time organically. We're talking about like, for example, 2 million illegal border crossings, 5 million illegal border crossings since Biden became president. We're talking about people that don't speak English. We're talking about people by the millions coming in from Asia that aren't Christian. We're talking about people that, that didn't share any kind of common experience. At least the Europeans all had a common experience relatively speaking, in Europe. And at least the Americans that it happened, the American what? continent had it. What do you oh, okay. mean, what? That is mean, a his, hold on. You have oh, no oh understand, hold on. Hang that on. Is wait, wait, no, you hold on. Oh Let me God. finish. Let me finish. This all right. guy, only, an Amer second, only an American could say some retarded shit like Europeans all have the same 30, history. It's one of the 30, dumbest things you could ever It's one of the most American things you could ever say. History, but yeah, please jump oh in with your low IQ rebuttals Thir because your Thir ideology is... I'm sorry, that's my inner Cuban part talking. My bad. 30 seconds and we go to Don. Go ahead, finish. So the point is, obviously, Europeans have more in common with each other than they have with people in India. That's the point I'm making. There's a, it's, a, it's a question about proximity. And so the idea is America is a certain way, and now it is being fundamentally transformed by millions of diverse people speaking diverse languages, diverse ethnicities, diverse religions, and America is going to be unrecognizable to everybody watching this uh, right now within a century. Okay. And that's unacceptable. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, yo, Jadion, tell that man to put on some pants. Uh, go ahead, Don. Yeah, I mean... I will, I will, Abba, I will. Yeah, personally, to... What is destroying this country? What is country... And, you know, I'm sure you already had some preconceived notions about me. I identify personally as a very conservative person. I live in Texas. I'm a proud Texan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do not align with majority... <laughs> of the liberal nonsense that you hear on tv i love matt walsh personally one of my favorite youtube creators oh. <laughs> the point i'm making though and, and but you're getting it wrong nick you're looking at the people that are destroying this country they look like you they look wh who are these people are putting in these you know the 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 trans agenda the lgbt agenda the abortion agenda all, all of these all of these the you know abortion clearly glorifying murder you know they, those are white people that are creating these and i'm not trying to villainize white people and say oh, it's because they're white it's because we lack god it is because Ooh. we have gotten away from Base. god and I his agree with moral, moral, 
it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with race and all of that it, if a, a, a god-fearing christian black mm -hmm. Asian, white mm -hmm. hispanic person they will all live together and not one occurrence of murder will happen not one occurrence of of theft not be why because they are faithful believers and as yes. god says in the bible you cannot be plucked from his hand so right. yes even though as christians we sin and we're not perfect but you don't we don't consciously if i i are we're not going to consciously go out of our way to commit heinous crimes against God. And so mm. with that being the case, if we had a society that was built on the morality of the Bible, mm -hmm. then everything would be good. Everything I know to say it's not he's about to say it's not people who look like him. He's going to say it's a different group of people. Well, that's also true. It's, it's well, not really it's not really white people. When you talk to very far right people, Jewish people and white people aren't the same thing. Just a heads up. They're two different groups. <laughs> it's true. Wait, <laughs> 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 right, wait. Well, okay. All right, all right, all right. First, we'll go. We'll go to. We'll go to Nick, and then we'll go to Destiny. Okay, I agree with you, Don. I agree with you. I'm a Christian. I call myself a Christian nationalist, and, yeah. and the thing. That's true. I am. I'm a Christian nationalist, and I, I agree with you that 90% of the problems are going away from God. The people that run the country are not godly. The people that run the country are not Christian. I say even the Republican Party is run by atheists, Jews, homosexuals. It's not run. It's not run by Christians. And you look at their look at their hero, right? In Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not exemplify Christian values. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? But that is yeah. the that is the that is right now the Messiah of the right. True. See, I can be nuanced. It ain't it ain't Base. you know what I'm saying? I can be Base. nuanced. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, you look at a guy like Donald Trump, you can't as a Christian co sign this dude. Even though you it's clear he got way more sense than a guy like Joe Biden and that's saying a lot. You know what yeah, I mean? Destiny. But, but my point is my point is though, he's still not a good representative of this country. He's not gonna mm -hmm. be the country in the direction oh, that God wants it to that's go. True, that's true. Hold, he's, on, he's I, not... I, hold on, I wanna go to Destiny then then Nick again. Oh, I had nothing to say. I I think that uh, Don is on some real shit here though, because uh, yeah, I mean God says and uh, we can do uh, we can do we can do uh, we can do what? You don't believe in God. Well, that's okay. If he believes in God, I can quote him at him. In Acts uh, chapter ten, verse thirty-five to or thirty-four, thirty-five. So Peter Let's opened go. his mouth. So Peter opened his mouth and he said, "Truly, I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears Him and does what is right is acceptable to Him." Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that wait, God wait, does wait, not show favoritism. Wait, 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 let me pull up the verse so I can read it with you. I, I don't. Sure, but like accepts it. from every nation the one who fears Him and does what is right. I can link the verse for you, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, Nick, can I ask you a question real quick, man? I, I pulled out my Quran, and he's, he's sure. definitely telling the truth. I got, I got two questions, man. Uh, first thing first, do you have any black friends? I do. You do? How many black friends would you say you have? Uh, more than I can count. I have a lot of black friends. I love black people. Can't be that. <laughs> that kid, that's uh, my hero uh, is black. My hero is Kanye West, who is black. And I have one more question. <laughs> so, <Hold up. laughs> uh, with you being banned off of every platform, would you not even be able to have a Bank of America account? Are you able to have a Wells Fargo or Chase account? Um, I banned from Chase. I haven't tried Wells Fargo. What? Right, well, oh, you can, you can maybe you? try Wells Fargo. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, um, dead ass. <laughs> Chase is trash anyways. They did you a favor. Well, no, nah, Chase yeah. is good, man. Let's calm down. But <laughs> no, no, with no, you no. being banned from all these different yeah. like platforms and everything, how do you support yourself? Like, I'm just curious about that. Like, oh, I'm not gonna lie. Me personally... I don't agree with anything you said today. I really don't. But I want to, you obviously, there's people, because I'm looking at this chat and it's sad. Like, I'm seeing a bunch of W Nicks. But it's, again, it's a lot of kids in the chat. So, like, you know, you can never, you can never judge off the chat. Once the video is posted, we're going to see the paragraphs of people's real opinions. And we're going to see what people really think. But Are you saying the YouTube comment section is more based than the live stream chat? Oh yeah, man. Like yo, all these things you see is put w for L. Dion right now. Put an L for Jadion, man. That man I'm not deep. saying nothing. All they're saying is W or L. But yeah, my I'm a brainwash, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm brainwashed. But then you know you live off chats, Nico. But back to you, uh, Nick. <laughs> I just want section. What's the difference? <laughs> I want to know how do you support yourself and like you know how do you support yourself? Well, I, I well I use uh, yeah I have my own live streaming platform and I have my own super chat platform because I'm I'm banned from all payment processors so I, I get Bitcoin and I have my own uh, I have a couple of platforms that I use because I'm I'm censored from literally everything 
Also, if you look up my name on TikTok, it will tell you that my name is a hate term. If you look up Nick Fuentes on TikTok, it will say that term is against our hate speech policy. So I'm, I'm like thoroughly banned. Um, and you can't use my links on Instagram. Like th that's just how it is. But uh, we have to create our own censorship proof alternative. So I had to, this is my site. This is cozy.tv. It's censorship proof streaming. And then I use a oh. custom thing for super chats. That's how I support it. Gideon, oh, you're, you're talking to Nick like it's so different than you. You were banned on Twitch. Destiny was banned on Twitch. Dot was banned on Twitch. I've been copyright strike and banned for nudity. Hey, I, I'm still on Twitch. You already no. know how we do, baby. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Emma. You yeah, sell out, yeah. fuck. You Bro, sell I was, out, I was banned fuck. on Twitch. Yo, I, yeah, yo, listen. I, I could also be banned on Twitch if I shook my I'm, ass I'm, naked. I got my like, Bible. You know what I mean? We out here doing our thing. Okay, I'll, I'll be going to get be banned eventually for reading the Bible. But can we find no, he won't because it's a Quran. He's good. Oh, you already know. I want to tell you guys about like the Sika, one trick. Like, Sika, like you heard what he said. Like this is like I'm, I'm trying to say this right now. The same thing that's happening to Nick Knack right now is eventually is what's gonna happen to Andrew Tate. Eventually they're gonna ban his hashtag because he doesn't have an account on anything. Bro, they got rid of Alex Jones. They got rid of him just because you don't have an account on something that you make you immoral from this stuff. We want to shift the conversation. We need to make our own platform. You're talking as if like you're not someone who's banned too. They banned you on Twitch. There's five people banned here. Freedom of speech is dead, and creators need to start agree. talking about this. They're like, Nick, really, if you, I listened to this whole call. I don't think he said anything that makes you want to cancel him. I think he's a good guy. He's saying, hey, I love everybody. Is he really being that Yo, that's crazy. Bro, that Sneeko, that. that's, Sneeko, that's so, so, Sneeko, I'm not even going to lie. If he had his way and he had, first off, you wouldn't even exist because you're the basis of an interracial marriage. So whatever kind of prescriptive ideas that he's got for the world, yeah. you are literally an individual that wouldn't exist in it. One, that's two. True. Yes, it is. True, because, true. No, 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 no. Listen, let's be honest, Mr. Fuentes, okay? You came on here and you said yourself that you are not for interracial marriage and that prescriptively you feel like it shouldn't be a thing within this society because you think it's bad for it. So if your vision of the world existed, someone like Sneeko, who you enjoy stream, wouldn't exist in this world. That's one. Two, what he's talking about, the fact that he wants like sure. a white core. I, I, I find it interesting that there's a specific idea about a white core. Nick, would you not concede the fact that both white and black Americans that were imported here through slave trade are the genesis of this country and should have just as much hold. But I feel, I'm pretty confident that if black Americans had a majority core, you would not be okay with it, correct? Well, because America is not historically a majority black nation. But if it, it became one, but they have just as much claim to the country as the white folks, do they sure. not? Um, well, I, I think as uh, the people that are in America, yeah, sure. Okay, so let's say tomorrow they started overpopulating like crazy and then they became a majority. Would you be fine with it? He's out of here. Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> He's out of here. So <laughs> why, why are you cool with that, though, Sneakers? Like, oh, okay. I understand, like, I under, like bro, Nick is a lost I, cause. I, it is what it is. I but it's like, bro, Sneaker, I think it's actually sad, bro. I feel like if says, your chat deadass wasn't saying W Nick this whole time, there's no way you will be writing his tip like you are this whole like this whole live stream. Well, let's see a response. Even, Go for it. Even since I first started talking to him, I agreed with a lot of what he said. But I said that we disagree because he's white. But I like the fact that he's sticking to what he believes. Wait, you, you don't disagree because he's white. That's not true. Don't say that. That's not true. No, I'm saying we can't agree on a lot of st the stuff he's saying about race mixing. We just fundamentally yeah, but that isn't because he's white. It. It's because he's a white fucking. Okay, let me answer to Dion. <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> okay, let me answer to Dion's surface level like tweet response of <laughs> dick writing. Like it, it, that's that's a stupid thing to say. Nick and I, I, he agrees a lot about the bigger problems that are going on. What was your question? Like, if Chat wasn't saying this, that I wouldn't say um, W, that I wouldn't be saying that he's right. Yeah, you wouldn't be writing for him because you've been literally. There has not been one single thing that he said this entire stream. Which you said some crazy stuff this entire stream. There has not been one thing you were like, "All right, Nick, you're wild in there. I can't agree with you." I did just now. I said like, if by, based on his philosophy, I would evaporate. You, 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 you didn't even say philosophy. You just said it based on the fact that he's white. No, his philosophy. That's what okay. Oh, okay, but look, Jadiel, let's be charitable. Let's say he is talking about his philosophy. Y you, uh, okay. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm not saying nobody can be friends with nobody. Nobody can rock nobody. But you don't find it kind of crazy that the ideal world that he envisions is one in which you wouldn't exist in? Not the ideal world, but the ideal country. And I think a lot of other countries would agree on that. I think Japanese people would say the same thing. Japanese people like, let's keep this country Japanese. There are the people donating Ethiopians are saying, like, yeah, let's keep our country Ethiopian. Most other countries have the same sort of rhetoric, but you're saying it's sad, Gideon, because he's a white guy. And it sounds racist. But a lot of people in successful or pe people who really are nationalists about their country say the same shit. So I can't. You don't think, it. I don't want to get like sentimental here, 
But you don't think there's something cool or unique about the idea that in any major American city, you can like walk around and you can find Hispanic people, you can find all sorts of Asian people, Middle Eastern people, African people, European people that are all like working together, living together on the bus, on the subway and Uber is like, like, you don't think there's any unique success there that America can claim that like, yeah, we probably should have been like, you know, Japan and been culturally homogenous or racially homogenous. Like, you don't think there's any value in that whatsoever? Ideally, but it's not working. We've become too liberal and you see the destruction of it. Like my city, New York City's fuck, it's got too liberal, too accepting of everything, doesn't have any core values and it's falling apart. Sure, and I, I can agree with you there, right? But that message that you just gave, you found common ground with a dude that's literally a white nationalist. So it seems like the problem isn't race. <laughs> no, no, hold on. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying that like you have an idea and you feel strong about it and you're, you want to buck the system. And there are a lot of people that would agree with you that would say the, these are the exact problems we have, but it has nothing to do with race. Right? It might have to do with how you, you disagree with him completely. You Wait, want me what? to agree with you? No, no, hold on. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not. I don't care who you agree I mean, with. If I may interject. I'm not, yeah, I'm just trying to say that like you can find agreement with people that don't look like you. That's all I'm saying. I don't care if you agree with you me. Or I'm just saying that you can find. You. No, I don't care. I'm you saying said that, that you were gonna flip him. You said that you were gonna. Flip that's what my chat says. Him. That's not what I'm talking about. You can obfuscate as much as you want. I'm never flipping Sneeko. Okay, that's not my goal. What I'm trying to. What I'm trying to. Yeah, all I'm trying to say is that like you can find huge groups of people in the United States that agree and disagree on things, but it doesn't have to be on racial lines. There's a lot of people that agree the system sucks, that COVID was fake, and blah 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 blah. And bro, you can find a lot of black people that think that. That's not an exclusively white opinion. I'm just saying like yeah, look past the racial. Shit. I think it's a it's a smoke screen that people put up because it's a clever okay. excuse for everything. I am trying to look past the racial stuff. You're, and you're saying that I agree with a white nationalist. You seem like you just contradict yourself in the same statement. Would, would I, you want me to look past it or what? Boom. That's Ooh, no, okay. that was the point I was saying was that even Ooh. for a guy that is a white nationalist, you both have a ton of agreement. So it undermines his point that the racial part is that important. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying the racial part is that important. I'm saying I know you're not. I, he is. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying he was. Who, yeah. Dion? No, 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 Nick. No, no, Nick, 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 Nick uh, I, I don't think I ever said that black and white people can't agree. Like, what, what about what Do you I notice? Said? Okay, fuck. I don't want to keep going because the other two. But, like, notice how every time I make a point, he wants to run it as far as possible. I never said that you said they can never agree. But what you said was that white people and black people have fundamentally different core characters that are biologically determined. And that is so essential to you that you want to split them up into different countries. So if you want to act like a dipshit at every time. Hold on. Do you think that well, if you just want to lie about what you said, said I want to split. Okay. See, I mean, this is what you did. Hold on. Okay. So you, do, yeah. I, I don't know. If you want to obfuscate it. Mean, to to, 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 to okay. be fair, he didn't say that, but I he get what He said that he get. wants to maintain a racial majority of white people yes. in the United States because the character and core of the United States should be whiteness. Yes. And he said that he would prefer in an ideal world if every country in the world was monoethnic and monocultural to maintain that core character because there are biologically essentially differences between the races. Yes. Something between excluding okay. other races and said, maintaining the majority. Yeah, and I also said that we live in the world and that countries are complex. And I said that every country has diversity and every country is multi-ethnic to an extent. I said, and we, we need to understand ourselves. We need to know ourselves to manage them. I never said I don't love other groups. You literally said well, if you had a black I, roommate, you'd fight with them more over the shower. I didn't say that. I said that proximity <laughs> creates conflict. I said... See, but that, but there you go. It's totally dishonest. I said that proximity said and that. difference creates conflict. Okay. Oh. And that was an analogy to say that when you get lots of different people together in a close living quarters, they're more likely to fight than than me and uh, and Don on this debate panel. That's what I said, and that happens to be true. But and it's not about it's not about not liking other people. It's not about not loving your neighbor, not loving God. It's about is America going to retain its character? And by the way, are are both black and white people going to retain their claim to America as a home? Are we going to turn America into your experiment destiny where it's like, wouldn't it be interesting if we had all kinds of people walking around? Like, that's our home. Hold so, up, yeah, hold maybe up. Maybe in the cities, but. Hold up, before I pass on, Don, I love it that you say that black and white people want to make a claim to their home, but then you're also at the same time saying how much of a claim black people can make depending on how much they overpopulate. You're fine with them making a claim to their home provided that white people stay the majority. To me, it sounds like, oh yeah, black people are included, kind of, but not to the extreme as they would like. I don't know, to me, it just sounds kind of backwards. But, it's okay, I'll well, let you quickly rebuttal and then we'll go to Don. Yeah, I mean, there are other countries like this, like, like for example, Russia. Russia has an ethnically Russian population core, but they also have Muslims. They also have all kinds of people. And those people are, you know, they're not going to outnumber the Russians anytime soon, but it's equally their country. They're, they have a history there. And the same is true of America. We talk about what if America was half black? I mean, I don't know, but that's not happening. What is happening is that we're all being pushed out by massive amounts of immigrants who don't even live here. So Boy. I just I think it's just misdirection. Okay. Well, listen, personally, I don't aspire to be Russia, but we all do feel differently. So, okay. Don, go ahead. 
was just saying that really, you know, what Destiny was saying and what Nick was saying, even what Sneeko was saying, it, it's all true to a degree, but ultimately I think it all misses the point. You know what I'm saying? I do believe that, as Nick is saying, that when you mix a bunch of different cultures together and people with different values, you're going to get conflict. But I do agree with what Destiny is saying that, yes, there is something incredibly beautiful about the multicultural nature of America. And when it does work, it's really cool. But ultimately, what and Sneeko is not wrong for identifying that, yeah, there are countries like Japan that benefit from the fact of its homogeny. But, and Jadion is right for saying, yo, some of the stuff Nick's saying is, is pretty, it sounds pretty racist. I'm not going to lie. But the point is, Jesus is the answer. That's really what it all is going to come down to. Okay. Jesus is the answer. If, if we can have the multicultural world and the lack of violence, if everybody can agree on nine core core moral laws, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we could all get with that, then everything's cool. Everybody, hey, everyone okay. can eat. I wanna, I, all right, Judeon, go for it. I want to add on to that. Uh, so, Nick... You're you you consider yourself Christian, right? Yeah, I'm Catholic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's kind of the same thing. We'll say we'll just say for this argument, it's the same thing. So you know, I consider myself Christian too. So I just want to ask you this: Do you believe everything in the Bible to be true? Yeah, absolutely. So you believe everything from front to back, every page is holy, and we should be it should be practiced, right? Yes. Yeah. So let's say. Uh, you know, this isn't even hypothetical. The people in the area that Jesus was born are of darker complexion. It even says in the Bible that Jesus was a darker skinned man. Uh, you know about that, right? Uh, where does it say in the Bible? He has a <laughs> uh, Revelation, Revelations chapter 1, verse 9. Revelation chapter 1, verse 9 says his skin was as bronze. I don't so, say it's dark complexion. I think he was like I think he was like Lebanese. I think he looks like modern day Lebanese people. So he he it's looks a, like Mediterranean. He has a complexion of I believe it's called burnished bronze. Which if you look that up, that's about <laughs> in complexion. If we're gonna be honest, I, it's, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's, but but Wait, you know, yeah. but for, for me personally, I think this argument is relevant because you know his ideal world is you know ran by white people and his savior is dark oh, but God. but that's but but that's besides the point let's say we get to heaven and it's a majority other races and you know your king your messiah is a darker skinned man and there's more darker skin or other races more than white people is that gonna affect you being in the kingdom of heaven <laughs> jesus it, so you're saying if jesus was black <laughs> not if and not he, that he was, was. he was he was, he was black. black people he, i don't i disagree with that i don't think he was black but uh <laughs> but jesus very belongs very to all of us jesus he does to, he does yeah so I, I think it's irrelevant what the what the color of the son of god is Ooh, so, you don't, so you don't care so you don't but but it does say in the bible that he's of darker skin well i again i don't think he was black i said i think <laughs> Looks Mediterranean. She got that yeah. Sicilian pan. That's what he said. I never, I never said black. There. I'm not saying black. I'm just saying he's of darker skin complexion. So he's the furthest thing from white. He's the oh, furthest he's... thing from white. It even says he has uh, hair like wool. So he didn't have, you know, your type of hair. He had, if anything, he had... Um... Well, who's hung up on race here now? You want I'm not, but what I'm saying... Black. Well, I, it's, not, it's not me being hung up on race. I'm not saying he's black. I'm, not, I'm just saying he's darker skin. I don't know what the... He's Hebrew. That's his race. He's Hebrew. So out, we know out. his race right there. Uh -huh. He's Hebrew and he's darker skin complexion. So what I'm asking you is, does that make you feel uncomfortable since you said darker skin people and other, you know, basically yeah. minorities are not as smart as white people? Like oh my, you said on average, you said on how average. You, how do you feel about discovering that Jesus is black? Well, he's not black. That's that's first of all. Jesus darker was, complexion. Darker complexion. Jesus was no. Italian, I think. Actually, I think he I think he had white skin and green eyes like me. <laughs> no, but he, but he was like, <laughs> diner. Yeah. Well, I, no, it doesn't make me uncomfortable, and I don't think the two have anything to do with each other because I mean we we can measure IQ. We can. Okay, measure so it doesn't IQ, make you uncomfortable. So why does it make you uncomfortable now? So you just answered my question. It why? doesn't make you uncomfortable. So why does why is this why is this you literally just said. That you don't, it's um, 
it's pride. You're pride in your home, and you guys are you feel like you're being kicked out of your home, being America with so many immigrants coming in. So you literally just said if it so happened that he was of darker skin complexion, there was more, uh, you know, minorities in your opinion, minorities in the kingdom of heaven, it wouldn't bother you. So why does it bother you in this world, in because, America? Because. Mm. Mm -hmm. why, why why would I be okay with diversity in heaven versus on earth? Because uh, all, all the bad people are in hell. <laughs> all the bad people. <laughs> we, we create heaven. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, just checking. Wait, so you think Jesus was white? I think that he was Mediterranean. Wait, I thought, so can some Jewish So, so he was then? part of the wait, Arab wait, I thought, I thought, Wasn't Jesus supposed to be why? Jewish? I think that he, we're talking about what he looks like. Well, no, but hold on. I'm curious. I thought you said Jewish people weren't white. Oh yeah, don't you hate Jewish people? Uh -huh. Oh, oh no, I'm Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, 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 slippery Nicks. Slippery on those ethnicities again. Judaism, we can get into that. Are you ready? Yo, to get Shabbat into that? Shalom. Let's go. Yeah, no, Jesus. You're, you're right. Jesus was a Hebrew, and, and like other people at that time, he he has that that Eastern Mediterranean complexion, right? I mean, yeah. that's what they look like. Yeah. Um, but as far as modern day Jews, Jesus is not a Jew like modern day Jews are. Oh, it's all, and and it's true because. You know, if you remember, Jesus came and it was the Pharisees that said, oh, you're not you're not really the Messiah. You're not really fulfilling the prophecies. But of course he was. Uh -huh. And so all the people, all the people that were the Jews of the Old Testament became Christians because Christ fulfilled the prophecies of the Old Testament. What does that all do with the, the race of Jesus? There's so much rambling. Are, see, this is making you uncomfortable, Destiny, because you can't name them. You can't talk about Jews. Is it because... Are they paying you off or something? So, 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 so. That's why you have MasterCard still, right? So the, the Jews of today are very different than the Jews of the Old Testament. Um, Ethnically? I thought that's what we were talking about. If you want to, I thought we were talking about religion. If you have a MasterCard or Visa, you're being paid Oh, wait, off. we're talking about religion? You think Jewish is just religion? So there are no ethnically Jewish people. What are you talking about? I, I'm sorry. What do you? What? What is your low IQ? Well, you're so you're so slippery with the sure. race thing. I just think it's very funny to me. It's just very it's just very funny to me how you like slide around on the race thing so much. It's like it's whatever not, you want I'm it to be. I'm not sliding around. I'm just trying to figure out what you're. Uh, I think the uh, one, one of the truest observations of modern century like race realists or whatever is they're actually like the most diverse group of people in the world because you will like any race can That's be whatever true. you want at any point in time depending on the argument you're having. I just think there it's are very, a lot of black and Hispanic race realists. It's very interesting to me. Right about that, we can agree on that, but. As okay. far as, uh, yeah, no, but but Jews Jews of today, they're very different from what Jesus was. Yeah. So what, what, what are the Jews of today? Like, what, like what's the difference? Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. They follow the Talmud. That's that's the main difference. The and religious... Yeah, Nick, be careful, bro, please. Oh, yeah, right. In, in, the, <laughs> in Minecraft. No, 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 no. We need to... We need to... No, no, the truth no. to be spoken, right, Sneeko? Yeah. Do, do we not do we not want the truth to be spoken? Why are you telling yeah. me the truth? truth in Minecraft? We can speak all the truth we want in a video game. Yes. Yeah. Well, we can uh, quickly talk about it. Please. Yeah, you, you kind of got scared to a little bit, Nico. Uh, Nico, you. I haven't heard you interject once this whole time. But now that we're getting into the thing that got him banned from every airline, every credit card, I thought we is down with the yo, system. Yo, Nico, <laughs> Nico, Nico wants to fly Delta. Leave him alone. I fly Delta, Ladia, and I want to still be a bot like you to some extent. Nick's over here. Nick's so, okay, you know what? I, 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 we I got a bad team. team. We, we got a bad team. He said he want to be a bit of a bot. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm oh, here. We welcome you. Nick, we welcome you. Uh, Nick, my pussy, bro. Nick, <laughs> you need to be a little bit of a bot to get some coochie. I want to fly bitches on Delta. I still want to go to the bank. You need to be a bot a little bit, bro. Fuck that. Hey, oh, You're welcome okay. in the bot community. You're hey, welcome. 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 You're, you're, you're turning into a bit more of an adult. I'm, I'm proud of you, brother. Yeah, bro, that's the bot shit, is being fucking boosted up and being calm and taking your pills and going to therapy. That's the idea of maturity. I hate that shit. <laughs> so it. true. So true. Hey, 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 let me let me just appreciate. You don't have a boost up no, no. Destiny. Sneeko what? took one look at his AdSense last month and said, yo, six figures? I can't lose this bag. Where's that bot life at? Let me let me dip my toes in the bot waters. Yeah. So I can he wants to be woke and not too woke. Not too woke. Okay. At least we know there's I want to say, actually, that's a really Minecraft. Abba, that's a really good observation too, because a lot of people will ask 
<clears throat> people like Snicko. Uh, people will say things like, "Look at how look at how corporatized everything has come. Look at how like safe YouTube has become everything." But the byproduct of that is that creators are able to make a fuck ton of money because it's an ad Ooh. safe, it's a corporate safe environment. So YouTubers Ooh. on one hand will be collecting 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 a month off of ad Ooh. revenue on YouTube, and then they'll turn around and be like, "Look at how disgusting a corporate safe this world is." If you don't want to be here, you can go to other platforms where you don't make any Ooh. fucking money. But like part of that corporate safe thing is yeah, enabled people to make a ton of money working over here. When I get banned, I'm hopping over to Cozy TV or another platform for right now. I'm going to get my money. And did you know I have a fucking employee? I'm paying an employee to monetize my videos, bro. It's not easy to do this shit. They try to take down my shit on a regular basis. You think I can just go here and operate how I want? I'm here for that, bro. But as long as we're going to talk about this stuff, we could talk about it in FIFA. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's play some football. Okay, let's play hold some on. Football. I, I, I want to I talk about something a little more positive. You know, we got Young Don. We got Jadeon, right? We got Sneeko out here on these platforms growing really large. As as young, you know, minority men, what do you guys envision yourselves doing with the wealth that you guys are accruing? What are some of the endeavors that you want to engage in? I know Sneeko wants to fly bitches out on Delta and smash all 20 spiritual women. Uh, wh yeah. What do you guys want to do with you? Man, you know what? First thing I want to do is, you know, I love everybody in the world. I love okay. everybody, but... I do feel one right. of the biggest plights in the black community is that we don't look out for each other. I do feel like there is a kind of sense of, you know, when we make it, it's come on, guys, I did it. You guys got to do it, too. And, you know, I feel like, you know, as black people, we have been dealt a bad card. Yeah. But, you know, how long can we use that excuse? So exactly. what I want to do with my money, what I want to do with my influence is, you know, I'm trying to work with my city right now to get programs going where kids can meet their favorite influencers for free, where they can have fun in a safe environment. Um, I have something. I'm coming to your hood soon, Nick. Yeah, I'm coming to your hood soon. I'm coming to Chicago. I'm going to be doing something great out there in Chicago. And um, I really want to look out for the black community, and I really want to, like, give back. And um, Yo, you guys should sit wow. down and do a face-to-face, -face, you know? Just the black community. I'm good. Yeah, I'm wow. good. So let's ask the young black men on the stream about how they want to give back to the young black kids and just what black, black people normally just do. Black people, man. Yeah, but, but we're all, yeah, but it's, but everybody is, we're said. all the same and all this, right? I see if Nick said, I just want to give back to the white community to make white people more Thank powerful you, yeah. and Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't think there, I don't think there's a problem with looking out for your community. Every single race does it. White people look out for white people. Jewish people look out for Jewish people. Asian that's people not look true. out for Asian that's, people. That's not true. Destiny's very open. He'll look out for any community, bisexual people. He doesn't care. <laughs> Well, no, but wait, what I'm saying, on, wait, I don't wait, think there's wait. a problem with that, but I do wait. think there's a problem when you won't help hold another on. race Abba, because of there being another race. I'll have me. another race any other day of the week. Hold on. Abba is trolling the fuck out of you right now because he just screamed at me yesterday. This motherfucker comes on and gives me a two-hour fucking debate on why black men shouldn't marry white women because as soon as they get rich, they dump all their money out of their community, okay? So fuck off with that shit, Abba. You know you think that's true. Hey, listen. You know what? I wanted to do my best, Dr. Umar John. <laughs> I yeah. did a good job. Uh -huh. So, so yeah, uh, Don, Don, what about you? What would you like to do with the wealth that you are now accruing? Uh, I mean, God says a uh, wise man leaves an inheritance for his children. And mm -hmm. so that's mostly where I'm planning to put my money into things that will help to take care of my offspring. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, you know, I, I try to give back a good portion of my money, money to doing those things that God has commanded you to do, such as giving money to the poor and giving... You know, providing resources to those who are less fortunate than you, um, mm -hmm. regardless of race. Mm -hmm. Part to me, on um, you know, what I'm saying wherever I am, wherever homeless people are, the nearest homeless people, there's what's where I'm going. So okay, okay, yeah. all right. And, and and lastly, I know Sneeko is getting sleepy because he got you didn't 20. Ask me the question. It, I, I did. You were last. So you, you were the last person. Go ahead. Did you, did you ask Nick? Did Nick answer? No, no, I'm asking you, and then I'm going to go up afterwards. Well, I want to buy my mom a house. I want to buy my provide for my family more. I want mm -hmm. to start. Actually, I want to start helping out Haiti and the Philippines specifically, two third world countries where my families are from. I think I can give some money there. I don't know exactly what for, and I know that a lot of I didn't, like at the same time. It's good to say like, hey, I want to give back to the community, give money, donate to all these charities. But I know they steal a lot of that money, like the right. Red Cross, the Clinton Foundation. It's like it feels good, and like you get to like sign your name on a list, and like look at how good of a person this is. But like, are you really doing anything? I ultimately I want to provide for my pa my family and the people around me. Um, mm -hmm. But I still have a lot of work to do before I start thinking about giving away money to like charities and stuff like that, bro. Like I, I got to. I'm about to pay off my student loan. Like I, I'm, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like you call me a rich dude flying bitches out on Delta. And actually I was just talking to Tristan and I've, uh, 
actually talking to people like you and Destiny, Destiny was all about chemistry and ah, uh, like I love a queen. And I've been thinking a little more about the, the quality of women that I've been spending time with. And I think there's a good point to that. Even Tristan was on, he was saying that like, he wanted to keep playing the violin so that he could um he can get some Russian ballerinas on his on his rotation. I've never even like considered that as part of a a woman that's in my capacity to deal with. And you're right. A lot of the bitches like on fresh and fit, like, you know, Destiny talk to them. They're dumb as hell, bro. Yo, Destiny. Hey, let's go, Destiny. Oh, you know, shit, we, dude. You, well, Sneeko, I, we, we made him see a bit of the light. Sneeko still <laughs> see, he's seeing more of the truth. Oh, I just man. call women dumb. What are you yelling about? Miami women dumb, though. That's an improvement, okay? We don't consider that. I'm, I'm just kidding. The majority of Western women are dumb in our brain. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, never mind. I forget everything I said, Chad. We fucked up. It's W5%. There's a very select few, but I want to spend more time. Maybe I actually don't. I, I, I'd rather have like three, two or three girlfriends. I don't want a 20 spiritual crystal bitches on my squad. I okay. Three. Okay. I mean, wife and a couple girlfriends. That's all I need. Okay, I, I respect that. I respect that. Hold on, I, I want to go to Nick. Nick, with with the wealth that you're accruing, what's what's in your future plans? Well, uh, well, I, I just like to grow my business and um, and and continue doing what I do. I'd like to invest. Um, cause I because I, I do invest, and uh, so I'll probably go to move to Florida, build myself a studio, and then eventually start a family, and then uh, do something in politics. Oh, That's yo, I, yo, 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 you trying to start a family? Let me ask you something, Sneeko, You can help me with this. What if we did an online e-date stream with, like, conservative Christian women and Nick Fuentes? Beautiful. Beautiful. That would be fun. Ooh. I kind of like that, actually. Make sure you actually follow up with the e-date, because we got people in here who say they're going to do e-dates. And then Nigga, you, you want to do this shit. You, you, you kept on adding people. First, it was just you and me. Yeah, then you added Abba. Then you added Nick. Then you added Destiny. <laughs> then you added Don. No accountability. I, just I'm like just, liberal. I'm just saying, ain't that what we all want to see? We want to see Nick Fuentes find love. You know what I'm saying? We get him with some good Christian conservative women, right? Preferably white. Absolutely needs to be white, okay? And then and then we just line them up and we see what what the what it looks like. Throw a, uh, yeah, throw a it's black kind of Catholic interesting. It'd be in good there. content. Black Catholic, yeah, that would be that would be a real wrench. In a lot there. of super chats of people saying like who are supporting you. I got a lot of black people donating and super chatting saying like I'm happy my boy Nick on here. Like this is a you know Bryson Gray. This dude's verified too. <laughs> oh these are, no. No, 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 no! These are these are four chan people. They're not. No, real. no, 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 no. That Bryson Gray guy is a real human being. Believe it or not. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. No, yeah, yeah, he be donating my streams. Shout out Bryson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jadia, you can't call him racist. I, I know a lot of black people, even personally. Bro, Nick, I don't think you're racist. I'm just low-key disappointed in the fact, because I'm not going to lie, I think Nick is a shit of racist. I really do. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, I think black a, people. Like, I, I just want to say, I'm just if glad that I'm glad that out for me to stay at his house, I would not trust Nick. I would think he's trying to kill me, poison me. Like, I would not trust Nick with my life any day of the week. But, Sneeko, like, I know you. I like you, Sneeko. That's why, you know, I like to talk to you, because I agree with you to a certain extent. I just think, you know, you're on a war path right now. And I feel like we have good discussions whenever we do talk. So I'm just kind of, like, in awe that, like, this is, like, bro. Like, you know, and I'm sorry that a lot of people are saying this, but, like, oh, Sneeko... If you heard what the shit that Nick was saying, you would drop a fucking 15-hour documentary series on this dude. Nah, 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 nah. No, yo, yo Sneeko, tell him, tell him. Sneeko, tell him. Watch old Sneeko. I was talking about this shit. I was in 4chan when I was 14. I was reading poll. I was reading all this shit. I did. Yeah. Jones since I was 16. You know, you don't even know what the old Sneeko is. You saw a couple TikToks by some white kids who don't get any mm. bitches from 2019. Like, they have not grown at all due to uh, play Fortnite all day, and then you believe Hell. the old Sneeko nonsense. I used to be even more alt-right. I used to be more alt-right when I was a teenager. I was reading all this shit. I just got it, and now I can. Yo, dead ass Sneeko, Sneeko, if you think Sneeko's like red pill now, back in the day he used to smack up women. This Marvel Vulk is crazy. You know I was beating the shit out of women, bro. And Bryson just donated more twenty. He said, I'm a rapper too, and I like Nick. A rapper. Damn, son. Yeah, he invited I, me to the cookout. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to say, back when I was growing up, it wasn't enough. You know what, you know it wasn't enough to have a black friend or a black man. Soon. What did this change? Nick, I'm gonna Jesus. kick out a Compton soon. I want you to fly out with that uh, cozy TV money, and I want you to come out to Compton, and I'm gonna give you a huge stage. And after we do the cha cha slide, oh I'm gonna let you hop on and like talk to the people in Compton. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jadion, Jadion, are you gonna provide any security for him? Oh nah, man, bro, he's good in every hood. Remember, he's the majority. Uh, 
Well, he's the wait, majority. He's, he's in power. Why would I need it? Why oh, would I need it? Well, black people wouldn't like attack me, right? <laughs> <laughs> black people wouldn't like attack me for saying things that offend them. I wouldn't need security. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The same way, like, white people wouldn't attack us if we went into, like, some rural parts and started screaming Black Lives Matter, right? Like, no, nobody yeah, does that. You got a point. You got a point. Fair enough. Well, I don't think they would, actually, but you got a point. Fair uh, enough. I'll come to the we'll, we'll hang out. We'll talk about things other than race. Do you I detest think. your Mexican side of you? Like, do you, like, actually hate it? No. No. Why would, why would you even say that? Do you, 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 can... you wish you could be 100% Italian or 100% whatever? No, because then I wouldn't be 100% Nick Fuentes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> how, wait, how do we get Nick Fuentes, though? Like, Bro. how do we get you? Well, well Are you arguing for a diversity there that you wouldn't exist if it weren't for, like, some level of race mixing and shit? Yeah, so we should bring in 30 million immigrants to America. Well, how many did we have to bring in before you were born? You said it was over the past 30 years. You're, what, 23 All years my old? ancestors are, like, four generations in America. But, you're, again, you're trying to you're trying to obfuscate the point. By Why do you keep saying... Wait, can personal. you explain specifically? How am I obfuscating? Why? We're trying to have a nice moment. Yeah, here. that's right. Yeah, run away from it. Okay. Obfuscate. He obfuscates everything. Okay. You've me up a lot. Uh, oh, all right, all right. Uh, Don, is there anything you want to add or chime in on? I mean, yeah, no, I think I've, I've said my piece. Uh, I think you all know where I stand. Uh, yes. Well, what the solution is, the God pill, you know. I agree. I agree, Don. I okay, I, actually, I got a big question. Don, as you are now somebody who's become a soldier of God, you are here, you know, fighting the good fight. Um, how do you feel now that you are looking at the red pill from this new perspective? Is there mm -hmm. some weirdness that you associate with it now? Yeah, it's 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 flawed. It's incomplete. It's it's <laughs> It's a bastardization of the God pill because what it does is there are truths that you do hear in the red pill. Let's say, and let's isolate it because I know when Sneeko hears red pill, he thinks about just like truth versus untruth. It, when I think of red pill, I think of dating, right? I think of the, the relationship. Spectrum. Surface level stuff. Not surface level. It's where it became, the term became popular. The the, the term no. red pill became popular. Well, in the hold on, hold 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 on, hold on. Sneeko, yeah. let him go, then you go right after. The, the Matrix, it's not really about dating, but okay. Yeah. But either way, even the other things that you speak of, like in terms of truth versus untruth, it is also derivative from the, the, the only truth that matters. And so, yeah, when I look at the dating community's red pill, you look at how, OK, a woman should be submissive. Right. They will say things like that. The Bible will say the same thing. But here's a difference. Someone like Andrew Tate will endorse adultery. Right. He will endorse treating women a certain type of way. Whereas in the Bible, it tells you to love your wife the way Jesus loved the church and Jesus gave his life for the church. You know what I mean? Jesus. So when you look at that, it tells you to be merciful, forgiving, loving, kind to your wife. You know what I mean? So patient above all things. Well, not above all things. Well, a, a part of that. You look at how guys are told to treat women to acquire that submissive nature. It's oftentimes very, you know, unloving. It's very cold. It's very mean. And um, it, it's done in a way to to make them feel less than whereas you know w what a woman should see in you to want to submit to you is a godly nature like man this is such a good man how could i disrespect them you know what i mean that's the okay. kind of energy that you get when you take the god pill as opposed to the red pill where you know it, it's so contingent on all these other factors that they talk about and red pill community you're well aware you lose all your money and all your status you know, yet relationship could now be in jeopardy versus oh. when you look at it from the perspective of a Christian, a woman, she is woman. A woman is obedient to her husband when the two are Christian, not because she thinks she's supposed to be obedient to him, but because she's obeying God and God commands her to be obedient to her husband. But her husband is commanded to treat her a particular type of way, you know? OK, so Sneeko, I know you feel like he doesn't have the right definition of the red pill, but what do you say to what he's just said right now in regards to the approach to women how different it is between the red pill and the god pill what is your reply to that i think they go hand in hand if you look in the bible all the men with status had multiple wives all the the most powerful men had multiple women and look what happened to them hold, hold up jadeon let him finish what happened to them look at uh um king solomon look at king david what happened to him do you not you do not know the story uh don you know, uh, i feel like you're a little bit you can you tell him about king solomon yeah no um when he had multiple wives, oh, 500 he had, concubines. He had, he had harems. He had, uh, he had multiple con he had hundreds, maybe thousands of concubines, you know, multiple wives. And he wrote the book of Proverbs. And in it, he lamented. He talked for an entire book 
Uh, he wrote the book of Proverbs is mostly about warning young men against pursuing sex, promiscuity, adultery. He, he was like, yeah, because King Solomon, he, or he, this is what he asked God for, right? He was very, very wise, right? He he asked God for wisdom, and so God made him the wisest man to ever live, and whoever shall will live. In doing so, he had enough knowledge to gain a lot of wealth, and so as a result of that, as he got older, he decided that he wanted to test out all the various ways in life that people try to uh, 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 is there a feedback coming from no no you don't you're okay. good you're good all right test all the ways to experience joy and in doing so he went down the road of promiscuity and concubines and multiple wives and after he wrote a book on it saying this is not it this is horrible mm. and so yeah so there's that but then it's not true that every powerful man in the bible did that right you look at abraham you look at isaac you look at um joseph you look at jacob these are men with one wives, you know. Okay, what I'm Adam. Okay, okay. I I want to let Sneeko respond. How how do you feel when you hear the, all this stuff? Man, you kind of meat watching, but I mean, do you? I mean, <laughs> I, mean I think we can fuck. <laughs> I, I want to fuck. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no Sneeko, you did not just quote the Bible saying all these motherfuckers have multiple wives, and then people were like, actually, that's not how it is. Like, yo, stop meat watching. Yeah. Like, I, but I'm not a Christian, bro. I, I believe in God, but I'm not a Christian. I, I like aspects of different religions. So you're quoting the Bible and stuff like that, but it's that's not what I follow. I like a lot of stuff. Then why'd you bring it up? Why'd you bring it up? That's what people are Because is. Christianity is an aesthetic for red pillars. They don't actually believe in any of the shit. They just say that like, oh, like I like God, but I'm spiritual, but I don't have a denomination, and I don't go to church, and I don't follow any of the tough rules. They just make a joke of things and make them feel good. the girls that talk about astrology. And you just the girls that talk about astrology all day. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, hold on, no, no, no. Destiny, you just said a bunch of nonsense. First of all, if Myron is, was a former Muslim, I think he's actually, no, he's still a practicing Muslim. Tate, a lot of the times he aligns with, like, Muslim practices. Me too. But my, the religion I wanted to convert to when I was a kid was Islam. So you're saying that we use Christianity. I didn't even bring up Christianity. I bring up God, but that doesn't automatically when, if you're, mean Christianity. When, you're, when you say, so... God is somebody that exists, and I think in order to have a relationship with him, you need to have some form of denomination or structured thing that you exist within in order to have that relationship with God. If God is just somebody that you quote but to you like— think, okay, but I disagree with you. you that's can't fine that you disagree, you but no, but any truly God-fearing person has a structure in their life that they've incorporated God into. I'm a God-fearing person. Then you don't believe in God. Why do you call that? What? Why do you call God if you're not a God fearing person? Why would you call someone you don't fear? Fear is respect. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Sneeko, Sneeko, Sneeko. Earlier, you, you, you said uh, in the Bible, and then you went on to list the fact that people have multiple wives. They corrected you on that. John is Christian, and he's saying this stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. but you recognize that what you're saying is wrong about the Bible and how they view having multiple wives. No, I, I thought that most of the most powerful men in the Bible always had multiple wives. They did, and then bad shit would happen. No, no, that's no, but it's not true that they most of them did. And also, at the end of the day, God constantly um, spoke against it. God constantly spoke against adultery, you know, <laughs> at least from the time of Moses, it was undeniable. But even prior to that, there were instances where, you know, men would have um, children with other women and there was always repercussions for that, you know, or adultery would be committed and there were always repercussions from that you know mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't take long it's only it's by the second book of the bible that thou, thou shall not commit adultery was established so you don't have too too much to look at in terms of text before you get a very clear opinion from god on how he views men sleeping with women that who aren't their wives um so yeah so well, i'm not married so no no, no but go ahead also, i mean i mean i'm not if you wanted to talk, talk, look at it from the Christian perspective, you don't have to be married to commit adultery. Any man who lusts after a woman has already committed adultery in her heart. So it, in his heart. And so, yeah, that's already breaking that commandment. You know what I mean? You don't have to be married to commit adultery is the point okay. I'm making. Yeah. Cool. Okay. How, how, do, how do you feel about the God pill, um, uh, Sneeko? Are you with it? Or are you more, you still feel like I think, it goes hand hand. I think what I find, I don't even think that it's worth identifying ourselves with pills. Like, that's what I, mostly I talk about in my videos, but I wouldn't say my, like, I wouldn't say that's the core thing I follow is the red pill. I just like seeking truth through funny. I like to go find the truth, and usually it comes from the funniest people. Mm -hmm. That's like, I, I believe in, ultimately, I think my philosophy is comedy, is funny. I, like, I think if you follow that, you can never really be derailed. Because it's just spreading joy. It's just people laughing. You can't really go wrong in that. That's what okay. I'm okay, but do you, do you agree that like your way of spreading joy is also spreading misery to many? Yeah, bots, pussies. But eventually, like you know, 
They they'll wake up. They'll they'll feel better. Okay, so it's not it's not joy for the majority. It's joy for the people who are like. No, not it buttons. is joy for the majority, but it's people who people actually. You're saying that it spreads misery. They like it. They're entertained by it. People like having an an emotional reaction to jokes. That's wrong. It's not really spreading misery. That's entertainment mm -hmm. to bots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Misery. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Uh, I think the God <laughs> pill is the ultimate red pill. Frankly, I think Christianity is because I did the same thing. I was a truth seeker. I sought truth through funny in the same way, and it led me to God, and it specifically led me to Catholicism. That that's where I wound up. So I mean, I know we got involved in all the race stuff, but I think that the, it, it's funny that I don't want to get back into that. But I agree with Don that if we're going to have any semblance of coherence and and cohesion in society, it's going to come from the only thing it's going to come from is Christianity. And, and that is the source of everything that's wrong in the country. That's the source of the spiritual crisis, is a la the general amorality or immorality of people. It's a fact that we're not being led by Christians. We don't have moral Christian law. We don't have Christian education. That, that's at the heart of almost all the problems. That's the problem with conduct, is it's not governed by religious law for people. So I'm not going to yeah. lie. That's the first thing I agree with Nick on. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I I, I feel like you know, um, because Destiny, you don't believe in the Bible, right? No. Um, not directly, no. But um, I feel like you know, if you any logical person shots. does read the Bible and you know doesn't add their two cents into it and doesn't you know try to change things, if you look at it point blank for what it is, if you were to follow it, it would be a cohesive, peaceful world. Okay. But th the problem is, you know. There's so many other religions, and then not only the, the fact that there's so many other religions, there's so many other d different, like, there's basically so, a bunch of different religions in the Bible itself because so many people want to make their own opinions and pull their own things out of it. Uh, like, when I went to the most racist town in America, they literally believe that the beasts that were made on the sixth day are people that aren't white. So, you I know, think, that's a whole different religion in and of itself. I feel like of all the major religions in the world, at the very least, your three big ones, you know, Judaism, Islam, and uh, Christianity, like all of these religions, as much as people like to find amongst them, they're like 95% similar in terms of the moral yeah. teachings that they have. The, the, so, they have the same, uh, it's the um, God of Abraham. But, yeah, you know, it's I mean, ar much arguably all three worship the same God, right? Yeah, so, but I mean, like arguably, you, ha yeah. you have like the, the same core moral teachings. And even if you venture outside of those and you go to like Buddhism and Hinduism, like the moral teachings are all gonna be roughly similar. I think as long as you have some some religion that's like a major religion if it survived this long the moral teachings are probably mapping on to something good or real that leads to like human happiness um as long as you're doing your best to like adhere to whatever religious principles you say you have probably going to be doing okay i think that's generally true okay and it probably for a better up, world yeah 